torches, let me clone this. I forgot what I'm putting those things. Project. Oh, okay, I have one. For I already sent the link for you to, to join the session in Visual Studio Code. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, I don't need to. Uh, where? Oh, okay, here. Oh, I forgot. I will. Okay, so uh, I think your pass started, yes? Yes. Yeah, so uh, just for context, so we're going to make a uh, game of life in Haskell. I don't necessarily know how we're going to do that yet because I never did visuals, but uh, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, and what would be the game of life? Game of life is... Um, is an algorithm, I would say. It's a it's a game with rules, right? And uh, you have your cells distributed across a, a, a field, I'd say. And the, the cells can interact with each other. And when they interact with each other, they start to produce some interesting patterns. And um, this is so common, pretty common in like during graduation in university computer science courses to uh, explore explore your your abilities in the language uh, implementing game of life uh why would you say it's common uh because it's pretty uh, in some uh, course that you took in university that you can take in university they just, at least one of them will ask you to do this as far as i know ah uh, that doesn't doesn't sound right man <laughs> No, but this 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 game game. Let's say they, they it can be complicated if you do like in assembly or uh, some I don't know some specific languages like low level low level uh, languages. But um, like this is not as hard as it may seem because you can if you read the rules, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, right? What I mean is I don't really. I think you will get this assigned for you, or even mentioning in most university or courses, man. Well, my my experience is pretty common. Anyway, so how's uh, what what is the the goal, right? What's the what is the final product? Is a board? So it's a grid two by uh, it's a two dimensional two dimensional a grid with two dimensions. Holy Jesus! And there you have yourselves, and if they they need to follow a certain set of rules. Um, you have four rules, right? Uh, two that we need to follow. Uh, and it's that's basically like at each tick of our time. Um, uh, time unit. I don't know. I'm gonna call it a tick for now. We're gonna update everybody using this algorithm, and the algorithm will basically will, uh, go across all the cells and will check their situation. And if they are in, in, if they fit in one of these four rules, something will happen. And they can. Uh, what can happen? Right? They, uh, a cell can die. And a cell can be generated, uh, and that's the that's the main goal. So you have these two options, and they and they live or die depending on their surroundings. So their neighbors actually determine which ones are dying and which ones are living. So uh, uh, that's basically the the point. Um, okay, let's take a look on those rules here. Okay, so any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors dies uh, by underpopulation. <laughs> oh, that's nice, man. So you die by solitude, right? You buy, <laughs> you die because you're alone. Oh. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors lives onto the onto the next generation. So this we have a partner or a friend or a family, and then you live. Ah, uh, oh wait, this is just oh okay. I'm here, and then I'm still here. Like nothing yeah. really happened. Okay. 
Yeah, you don't move. The the the, the, the feeling of movement that comes from the gifts. It's they one are generate... dying and the other. Exactly. Oh. You have the impression that they are moving, but actually they are dying and being reborn. They are not the same. Oh, that was mind blowing. I guess. Uh, any live cell with more than three l l live neighbors dies because people eat, right? And then there's competition about food. Okay, any life... any dead cell with exactly th a dead cell is an empty space in this case. Any ah. dead cell with exactly three live live neighbors becomes a live cell. Uh, wait, as wait, if wait, wait, wait. Uh, this third rule. So doesn't so it matters, right? The order in which I check, I check like any cell. Oh yeah. And make the movement because wait a bit yeah like if this one that i check at first like on suppose we start no, no. left and top yeah and i don't know but I, I totally got what you i totally got what you mean but i i will stop you just because read the the, the final paragraph oh, okay after on the rule section any dead cell with exactly three life no, 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 not the fourth bullet point, the, the no, no, final I, paragraph. I haven't read these also. Oh, okay. So, with exactly three live neighbors, become a live cell, as if by reproduction. Oh my, okay, these rules, which compare the behavior of the automaton to real life, can be conditioned into the following. What? Any live cell with two or three neighbors survives. Uh, any dead cell? With three live neighbors becomes a live cell. Okay. And all the other live cells die. Hmm? Okay, when they mean all the others is the one that is not like met in these conditions. Yeah, if you're not matching rule number two, one and two, you die. Right. Oh, okay, are two you... or three. So they are under and like overpopulation, it's here, right? Okay, they are dying. Yeah. Just in uh, yeah. but uh, But the thing that I want you to pay attention is the final paragraph. So the second sentence in the final paragraph says, the first generation is created by applying the above rule simultaneously to every cell in the seed, live or dead. Birth and deaths occur simultaneously. So I think that because the birth and deaths occur simultaneously, it doesn't matter the order. It's almost like you you did a snapshot of the current si po population situation, and you use that snapshot of of that photo to actually decide if the cell will live or die. Uh, wait, that's one in favor of immutability, right? Because suppose we have a function that is doing like the tick, like the tick occurs, and then we call this function, right? Like a render or something, and then oh, we yeah. receive a state. And then we just pass out the state, right? So we have all the previous state. Like mm -hmm. if you were doing this by only mutation, then you could have this problem that I was talking about because you would mutate a cell and then uh, the next one would have your state of your neighbor from the next tender, not the previous. Pretty ironic that you said that because if you continue reading, you're going to go that in a discrete moment at which this happens is sometimes called a tick. Each generation is a pure function. Oh my! Okay. <laughs> oh, how are they doing this in other languages? That should be hard. Uh, I wouldn't say hard. It's just uh, people don't think about this. Like we, we are functional programming enthusiasts, so we get we get excited by this. But people, they don't. They just don't. Okay, but I think it's pretty straightforward, right? So I think the idea is. Not that impossible, right? Okay, rules on the first pattern. Okay. Yeah, it's actually very simple. Yeah, indeed. That's the implementation, right? Uh, but th this thing is so popular because the patterns that, that you can have with this thing are Depending like. Depending pretty... on the initial state, right? Now, depend, they depend on the initial state, but you can have some cool patterns going on. Whoa. And they uh, they already established, like, they identified some patterns. So if you have, like, some cells distributed in a certain manner, they some of them start going, like, it's almost like they are alive and they are moving forward. Right. So um, it's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. It's, just, uh, it's a cool exercise. 
Yeah, that would be cool to make like Conway's Game of Life in a Conway's Game of Life, but I guess oh. that, I guess that would be harder, right? <laughs> but you can do like things like a processor, if I'm not mistaken, right? Man, there is a, a print screen on Wikipedia saying that. Uh, uh, scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling down. Oh, they talking about like logic gates? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep scrolling down or... until you see uh, an image. Uh, no, no, keep scrolling down. It's not this one. <laughs> I want you to still. Yeah, this one. This this is a Turing machine, apparently. Oh, <laughs> but that's a lot of generation. <laughs> what? Oh, man. In less than 30 seconds? Whoa, I was expecting a lot of time to compute that, man. Because that's Man, and it's a 30 seconds in an uh, Intel Core 2 Duo. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, man. I have a <laughs> few cores here, you know? <laughs> Uh, like 12? Yeah, I guess we <laughs> we can do some stuff here, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, okay, so now uh, pick, uh, uh, download the project, right? So pull the project and see if it's I working correctly. I don't need to do that, right? Do I? No, you need... I, wa I want you to be able to run. So open... Uh, can, you, can you run this? Uh, I guess if you... I have if you share your terminal I can run this. Oh okay. Okay, let's try that. Uh so terminal, new terminal. Do oh. I have stack? Do I have stack in this machine? In like WSL? <laughs> I I'm I, I'm I'm not sure. Okay, I don't. Um okay. So that the thing style has <laughs> Okay, so no, 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 no. Uh, don't don't you prefer to use like the G H cup or something? No, no, I don't. I I like to use Stack for everything. Okay. Uh, because in Stack can run tests. Stack can run can, can compile the project. It can open the repo. Uh, it's pretty cool. Is this the password? Yeah, nice. Oh, look here, man. Okay, while this thing is installing, let's just start uh, modeling stuff. So, first things first, the structure of our project. Um, the, the, the structure is pretty straightforward. So we have app, the, the app folder. The app folder is where the main function usually usually lives. Okay, I don't have syntax highlighting this in this thing. Wait a second. Oh no. I usually program in um, uh, Haskell in Emacs in my in my defense. So uh, that's that's why we don't have a. Uh, okay, so. Uh, do you recommend any specific one? Uh, I will use, uh, uh, what's the name? Hasco and Hasco syntax highlighting. Why do you want to install <laughs> more than one, man? That doesn't no, no, you install, you install one and the one re request for the other. Oh. Um, okay, so do we have syntax highlighting? Yes, okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so... This is uh, the, the, the uh, inside the app folder inside the inside the main.hs is usually where the main function lives. Okay. Uh, and we have this import. So this import lib is basically importing a module that we have in set in, inside the source folder. So if you go to the source, we have lib.hs. And here we have um, That's uh, weird. Here. Why is it not like your app is in source? Like it's yeah, I actually never, uh, it's pretty, I, every time I never use the main.hs, I, it's just, this is the standard of stack, right? So, oh. um, I don't necessarily know why they decided to do, to do like this. Uh, wait, anyway. just, a, just a second. Let me see how can I 
follow you. That would be oh, follow person. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you have this function called sum function. It's the type IO unit, and it's basically printing some function on the on screen. That's basically what's doing. And these lines here, we are defining the name of our module, and we are exporting. We are defining which things we are exporting externally. Okay. So we are exporting some func, and then and that is pretty much the header. And then the, uh, wait, 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 just there. one thing. And you were talking about why do you need public in Rust, right? But yeah, you... Haskell is doing the same. You are having to be explicit about the things you are exporting. Uh, no, you don't. You can do that just like this. And now you are exporting everything? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know. There is also the test folder in which you can use to put tests. Um, um, you can have a, a quick checks, things like that going on on the test folder. Uh, we're probably not going to export this for now uh, because... Uh, uh, we are not, we are just like you're gonna make game of life, right? So to, you can you can test the functions that we're gonna make, but uh, it's not our focus now. So what I usually do, I basically delete the lib.hs file and then I create my own file. So for instance, we can have something like types.hs. Um, types.hs would be a file, would be a module, uh, module types where where we can put our modules. Uh, not our modules, our types. So, for instance, I think we should have something like a type for grid. And that would be a function of uh, a list of a list, right? Right. So, a, a, a two-dimensional grid. And this could be like a Boolean. Um, and then we can do like a cell. We can have this as an alias for Boolean. And then we can say that we have a, a grid of cells. Okay, that's a bad syntax for the list type. Like, you should write list, but okay. Um, I actually prefer this way. I don't see, I don't see what people like like on this. I this don't beard. like this either, but I like <laughs> this one. Uh, um, that's just, fair. Yeah, that's probably fair. just use it. We could. Uh, if you want to go really fancy, we could go with like data and then make a grid of A and then have a list of list uh, of A. Can you explain me what the difference between type and data? Type is an alias. So this is not actually creating a type per se. I would actually prefer to Haskell to do something like this. Or why, uh, because I think why I think this is both? more explicit. Why not both like like ML does? It's only type. Yeah, uh, we have three constructions in in Haskell. We have That's type. That's fucked up. We have type, and that is just basically for alias. Uh, we new, have data. New so type, this is right? where you can do polymorphism uh, with if you use data. And we have the the thing that I told you last time around with the new type, where you can uh, have a f the record can have a function inside and things like that. I don't think we need that uh, for now. Wait, wait a bit, Lemus. Uh, a few things about Haskell. Like, so for instance, if I want to create a record and I don't need like a polymorphic type, so can I do it with type? Um, no, actually you can try, but I don't think it will work. So this is a test. I never did this. So we have a test and then we have, uh, I don't know, and we have a, I don't know, X and this is a double. We can also have a, like a, a Y, and this is also a double. Yeah, that. And we never come here. Very good times. Uh, okay, so because I don't have uh, my like LSP working on this thing, we 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 should actually run this. So let's try to run stack and see what happens. So stack wrap. Oh, and something else. Uh, <laughs> how can I say? Uh, so can you have like a function because it should be just a value, no? uh, right? So you could just have a function either with type or data, but the new type would not like allow you to have the function you can have normally, but he would just allow like extra stuff like the syntax sugar that you that you showed me. Like in a normal record without new type, can you have functions inside records? Never, I never tried. You can try that. 
Uh, I'm really confused with this zero though, because it's complaining that could not parse whatever this is. Uh, error dot resolver failed to parse field resolver. I don't think I'm seeing this error. Um, are you sure? Yeah, you just cd into hvita and that's it for me here. How can I share the terminal? Uh, like, for instance, right now I cannot write in your terminal, so I guess you should have options somewhere. Maybe in the live share tab? Like share okay. terminals and it's like... Oh, read here! Only. Read only, yeah. How can I change this? And I've not been able to read everything. <laughs> Share terminal, read and write. Okay, so I clicked to cha to change the permission. So I think you should be able yeah, to write. But now. actually, yeah, but actually you have a new one, right? Yeah, I'm. Oh, that one doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, but we still have a uh, we still have uh, a problem, and that is that if you go to the project and do stack repl, oh, we have okay. this now for some reason. Uh, I don't, what is that? I never, I never saw the zero. This is the first time for me. So it's complaining about it's parsing the, the resolver. So it's inside this file here that I am. And I changed this to change the GHC, GHC compiler version. So let me check again how this should uh, is actually it because be. you are specifying one version that you does not have? Hmm. That's a possibility, definitely. Can, so, uh, can't you install, like, with you have a stack with this specification? Can't you install this GHC version through that? Um, okay, so let me try uh, stack commands Haskell. Uh, that sh I think this should work in anyway. I think this should this should work anyhow. Uh, stack test. It maybe it's wait. No, it's not this. Maybe it's because uh, I don't have GCI in the version that I want to use that I described in here. But let, let's do the following. I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to copy paste this and try to understand the error from there. Okay. Could not find whatever, whatever. Yeah, but it's not. Oh, something that I forgot, Lems. The thing that they are uh, seeing about bits is how to represent that with like algebraic data types. No, I know, but uh, at some point in time, they were like, oh, the, the, somebody copy pasted like the the entire bit uh, number range from zero to two hundred fifty five oh, okay. in bits. So that uh, that means that they are going from the ground up. Anyway, anyhow, let me check just uh, a second time because I think this is related to the file that I changed to to have the version of GHC the the one that I said. Um, <coughs> okay, so, okay, I will do something that I do not recommend. <laughs> I will just oh. delete this and copy this one. What happens? Okay, still complaining. Fail to parse resolver, expected resolver with encountered object. See this link. There's a link about this error. Oh man. Wow. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Not even about the error, right? It's just the specification or document. Well, documentation for the YAML. Yeah, it's documentation related, but I don't see it. I never got the zero. I don't know why. Starting with stock 2.0, the snapshot is accepted as a synonym for resolver. Only one of these fields is permitted, not both. So we have resolver and we don't have snapshot, so that's okay. Um, 
Okay, each of these resolver will also determine what constraints are placed on the compiler version. Yeah, man, like that's the constraint on the compiler. So if you don't have that one, but that wouldn't make sense with that with this error, right? Then they would make a good error for that. <laughs> Oh, that's a bold assumption yeah okay. uh, let's do a let's do a quick test here so uh if i do stack new um just for test so this will generate a new project uh i don't know exactly what happened okay so it was created a new one here oh by the way you don't need to use a url right you can do it like simpler with just like the name of the thing. Oh, wait a second, man. Okay, so I created a new project from scratch and it didn't add the stack dot whatever. You see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which means that I should actually don't have, I shouldn't have this, if that makes any sense. Yeah, Let's I, try that. I would also recommend you creating one from scratch. No, but the problem of creating one from scratch is because you're gonna lose, uh -huh. you're gonna lose uh, uh, the configuration that I did. So I, I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to be using. Ah, uh, what was the thing about the configuration that you did? Um, before answering that question, I will try to just run it in again. Mm -hmm. Stack wrap. Okay. Okay. So it didn't work this time. And what is all that? That's so, cool. What kind yeah, of but the, the status code is 404. Status not found. What is this a server? What the fuck? Is this a server? Writing implicit global project file config. You can change the snapshot via the resolver field there using latest snapshot resolver. We don't want to use the latest snapshot resolver. That's the thing. We want to use specifically uh, one that is not this one. But for some random reason, it's not generating. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They are having a error when fetching this URL that you specified, right? I didn't specify the URL, man. No, no, no. Uh, wait, which one are you running? Is it not this one, right? Oh yeah, this file. No, this file is stack I deleted this file. Okay. I deleted the file. Deleted. Okay. Um, but the thing that is so, I don't understand why the heck this is not working. Yeah, re-download invalid response. So what the heck is that? So let's try to search that. Uh, stack. Okay. Oh, you need to do stack upgrade. Okay, let's try that. Upgrade. Oh, I was using 1.9.3. Oh. Oh. So you didn't <laughs> have the resolver, right? <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. Oh, no, no, no. So, I'm reading wrong. Um. Okay, now I'm using the same, the, the latest and greatest. Okay, now what should happen if I do stack REPL? This should do its magic now. Okay, it's now it's using JHC 9.0.2. I don't want to use this crap. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's because you don't have like constraints here, right? Yeah, no, but we can change that because I think now it's going to create that file stack.eml that we, that we, I already deleted. And it will create one with this version of JHC 9.0.2 and then later I can change it. Oh, okay. Anywho. Oh, nice. It downloads for you, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. That's great. Hashtag stack. Okay, let's go back to the modeling here. Uh, yeah, Pro easy is better. Easy <laughs> for our camel, but yes, let's go. No, we didn't explore everything yet. You can say it's better. No, no, because man, it, it, it uses like JavaScript for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Already better, right? 
<laughs> you literally just need like node install and npm. Any anyway, um, so I kind of want to do it like this. Um, I don't see a problem with this representation. Um, as of now, at least. Um. Oh. Okay, we don't have to do no. We, we don't have to implement anything because the list is already like uh, pretty strong in Haskell, so it already has functor and things. But man, this is gonna be so cool to do because we're gonna have a we're gonna do an F map. We're gonna have like a board, and then we're gonna do F map on the board, and that would be gen advanced generation. What do you mean by advanced? Oh, okay. Uh. We're gonna have a fun. This is this is game of life. So this is like a game of life, done, we in one line. <laughs> That's way too easy. Oh man. Uh, oh okay. Inside advanced generation, we have one that is like okay, controlling the tick, and the other that is actually mapping, right? Like. Yeah, we need a way structure. to repeat this for multiple ticks. So we have to have we have we have to have a function uh, like Lemus. We have one just for the transformation, man. Like and yeah. then something outside will like control the tick and run that transformation like whenever, right? Yeah, exactly. We need a way to repeat this process, but we have a, we have a step of game of life here. A step of game of life is an F map. F mapping the, the function advanced generation to, to a board. Uh, yeah, Lemus, let's start with just that, man. Just a function that receives like one grid and it spews the next grid with the given rules, right? Okay, so let's do a function called... Okay, but this is just types, types.hs. I will rename the lib.hs to something, I don't know. Oh my god, naming. I don't think we need to worry about that, man. We can like write stuff and then rename and move stuff. Yeah, but uh, usually when you have a, a hard time making the name initially, it's because it's gonna be hard to name. It's probably the name will be bad at the end. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay. I will put game of life for now. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's create one for rendering stuff. Oh yeah, that's also that's a good, a good call. Um, uh, okay, so let's create one for uh, display. Display.hs. Okay. Um, wait, 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 is basic... wait, wait, wait. Isn't display more generic than we need? Because I'm not sure that display is the same as render. Uh, we can change it later. For instance, printing the terminal, it's not rendering, I would say. But I would imagine as display. Okay, so we got a problem. Oh, which one? We got a freaking problem with uh, GHC error couldn't open database. Invalid argument. Oh no, Linux. <laughs> Simulated <laughs> Linux detected. Error encountered. The following directions may contain files but won't be used by stack. Okay, but can I run? Even you, you saying that you got an error. <laughs> that doesn't. Okay. Sounds like already it. downloaded. Huh. Already downloaded. I don't know what that means. Maybe it was. Tr it will try to install it again. And... Oh yeah, he's talking about installing <laughs> GHC. Hello. Lemos. No, no, yeah, you you froze for a moment. No, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, okay. You froze for a moment. Anyway, so let's make the function advance uh, advance generation. Uh, okay. Advance generation. Uh, this is a function. So I, I'm driving right now, but you're gonna be the one doing the. I'm just like initiating the process. You're gonna be the one driving this entire thing. So we're gonna receive a game. I actually, go to the types again. So you receive a grid. <laughs> yeah, not a game. We're gonna receive a grid, and then we're gonna return a new one. Sounds just right. Uh, and we can use like this to compile. And now the board, the 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 wheel, the wheel is that is that how to say? No, now you you can pilot this now. Ah, uh, wait a bit, Lemus. Let's 
think a bit about this, man. Like, we need access. Oh, my. Oh, Lemus. <laughs> I don't think the least will do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, like, you need to have access to the, like, all the neighbors, oh. right? Those are, okay. like, eight. Okay, that's a good call. And we do have a package for that called data.matrix. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not the, the best, I would say. Uh, like, it's not performant. Mm -hmm. and things like that but we can definitely make use of this so let's try to import uh, yeah man this will crash again because it's trying to install a ghc again i should have been more prepared uh if you go to types we can put like um import data matrix right and then we can uh, what are you doing with that? Are you open the whole namespace of this thing? Uh, yeah, I'm opening the entire namespace of the module. But you could specify I'm... things, right? Yeah, I could specify. I could. Um, but that's the thing. Uh, there's a type called matrix, right? So instead of making a list of lists, you're going to have a matrix of cells. It's going to be something along these lines. Let me just also, uh, because I think we need to tell stack to install this module first. I don't think it's installed in the prelude. The prelude is basically the standard library. Yeah, I know. That you, that you have access to. It's not uh, only on the Haskell. Then. No, no, no. I'm just saying the, the names, right? So the name of the standard is, is not stdio.h, is um uh prelude this is how we call it uh so package.eml oh yeah we need to install it man uh, by the way man do you know something nice that could be done it's what? regarding the aging of the cells like you could have more than it's alive or not that's what we are doing right now with the boolean but we could have um, for instance the age so depending on the age it renders with another color you know Oh, right? I like that. Right? No, not for now. Not for now. But sounds nice, right? Sounds really nice. Okay, so this is actually not going to be a data. This is going to be a type. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the way you do it. So, so you have your... can you access this by indexing? Uh, you have uh, no, but you do have okay. So search for data dot matrix uh, Haskell on Google because I, it's it's good to you to get used to this way of uh, okay. understanding what you have. Wait, as, you mean uh, part... uh, what's the name? Google? No, I mean just Haskell. Put Haskell there, oh. and then you're gonna go to the first one in Hackage. Okay. And then here we're gonna have all the you're gonna but, have the data type wait, you're gonna have all thing, the type classes. Uh, this here, it's not something that comes with your Haskell distribution, right? Yeah, no, you have to install. So it. are you specifying that somewhere on the project? Yeah, go to the project and go to package.eml. Okay. I'm specifying here that we want to have mate the data dot matrix like this. Oh, nice. Um. Uh, oh, so should... wait, Lemus. I see here, man. Okay, like with compiler languages, right? Usually you have like uh, the project is either executable or a library. Then that's what they are doing here. You could use just the executable and name it that source and well, go as usual, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will have to put extra effort to have a, a terminal working for both of us. Which is sad because this means that you cannot execute by yourself the code because you are remotely accessing this code. Uh, um, wait, what do you mean? If it works in your machine, I can just type it here. No, it doesn't work. But that's that's the thing. So this terminal here is linked to the to the WSL Ubuntu distribution that I have. Okay. But this is breaking for some reason. But this is not breaking. If I try to execute this. In, in like my normal computer, like Windows, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm going to have a, a good time. Oh, okay. But that's the, that's the catch because you don't have, you can look at this, but I can. So one way that you can we can do this is I can share my screen on Discord and you can see my terminal. 
that's the way for now, just just for today, sure. because I was not prepared for like I, I, I we literally decided to do this in like uh, in five minutes <laughs> before schedule. Uh, so <laughs> I was not really prepared for um, having Haskell working on my Linux machine. Okay, so I will stop sharing the screen, right? Or you can uh, just... No, I think it's good you to share. Because oh, okay, then I can... we can do it at the same time. Yeah. Okay, uh, now I can see the output when we have one. Okay, no, wait. Uh, I need to do it like this. Okay. Okay, I'm on Hackage. Yeah, uh, you are on Hackage. So what are you going to be in Hackage if you go to just one sec okay there you have the data type as you can probably okay. see we have data matrix. Then we, have, like, we the also function. have the type classes we also have the type classes that are already implemented for us okay that would be like oh okay this thing also fits like in things that need those constraints right exactly okay so uh, what you have about foldable, things? traversable. What would be builders? Because I see functions here, but what about builders? Builders is basically a, 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 get, a, a get, right? So in, in your objective oriented, you want to provide, you know, you want to have a get. There's an example there. There's an example there. So for instance, you have a ma you're going to be creating a matrix four by four. Mm -hmm. And the way you're going to generate the, 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 the cells themselves, you are creating an anonymous function that is establishing a rule to create them. So for each index, so I is the row index and J is probably the column. Oh. And then you're picking that, them, and you're using an arithmetic operation to establish the cell value. Uh, yeah, but what they mean by this? This is not actual code, right? Is it? Um, no, the, 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 the thing after the equal is not actual code. Oh, this is just an example on... Yeah, this is just a represent, and... visual representation for, for that. But we, oh. can, we can see that. Go to go to the my terminal um, so for instance we can uh, do something like import data dot matrix uh, I'm not oh, okay on discord you mean right not... uh, yeah yeah on discord but uh, apparently I can't which sucks okay. you want to use it on your like rep right yeah what if I do this? Okay, so it's definitely broken, this. So do we have the files here? We do have the files. So what happens if I do stack REPL? Why this is not doing its thing? For you to have the namespace there, right? Yeah. Okay, so... You can need to create a new stack and for... Oh, I do need this, stack init. Oh. Okay. Now if I do stack REPL. Okay. Now it's picking up the main.hs file, which is good. Doing some stuff. Oh, prob probably the main.hs file will break because we killed the lib. So now they, they will complain, oh, we didn't find lib.hs because this file doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Uh, so probably it will complain, uh, which is fine. But I'm more worried that, yeah, that it's definitely doing something now in comparison to the previous attempt. <laughs> so it's definitely doing something now. And I think that's a good, a good uh, um, initial. Holy, but that's a long building process, man. Oh, no, yeah. It takes a while because the prelude is ginormous. Uh, you you have a bunch of things in the prelude. Uh, for instance, there's a there's a package called uh, data.list, and that's a package specifically for list manipulation, and that's that comes out of the box with the pre prelude. So uh, it's just for list manipulation. Yeah, I'm supposing that should be like huge compared to other like module in like. Vector. There's also the fact that my computer is not that fast, so. But the thing that's sad is that it will break because we are, um, 
We are asking for lib.hs. Yeah, but and then, like, uh, most of it will already be compiled, right? So. Okay, so let's do this. And print. Hello world. Okay. Oh, this is the mute. This is the kind stuff that we were talking about last time. And they are giving warnings saying that they are using this character to represent type. Data that data dot kind dot type. Does this remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> kind of yes. <laughs> Look at this tip. Look at this. <laughs> data dot kind. But this is just the initial configuration, right? So this is just for the initial, the first time you do stack REPL, because what we're doing, let me explain what we are doing. We are actually creating uh, enter GHCI inside the project, right? So stack is doing all this, the things for us. It's like install, it, uh -huh. it has installed GHCI. It has, um, it also has, uh, uh, version like package version many uh, configurations everything there and uh, we are just trying to access JHCI using um, uh, oh, using the modules that you have on your project right by the way yeah. it's a really fucking good name man stack rapper like it's intuitive <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Stack is better than cable. I, I use cable for a few like a few attempts and I was <laughs> no. <laughs> oh just, uh, just one moment, I will just get something to eat I guess. back man i'm a fucking ant like there is no other explanation you I'm are what an ant like <laughs> a n t yeah what what I, I was that supposed to mean like uh, uh, how can i say <laughs> that i eat that i ate a lot of sugar oh uh, okay i bought a whole box of like chocolate uh, how can you say that in english like uh those boxes that they have a bunch of like, yeah, candy boxes. Yeah, candy? Hmm, candy sounds weird, but but yeah, like a box of candy. They have like how many? Uh, 15, 16? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I can't find it anywhere. But man, now I have only two and I bought like yesterday. <laughs> Most this morning. And the one okay. that I have here, it's like one of coconut. And dog is like a strawberry, so <laughs> the bad ones. Okay, so open, go back to to hackers now. Let's continue our, our exploration there. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of useful functions there. Oh wait, wait. By the way, uh, how do you define a builder, man? Do you define a type? Okay, and then how do you define the builder? A builder is just a function, man. So it's basically and make using the constructor. It, why does it have this section? Is it because of the name or because someone like uh, go to the go pick your mouse and go to the right. Do you see that there's hashtag source? Okay. Click that. So uh, no, no, you already screwed. You already screwed. You already screwed. Go back. <laughs> no, there, there, matrix. Okay, so this is the way that it's doing. So it's you can read the implementation if you want. I don't necessarily uh, advocate for that. Um, um, data dot matrix. Okay, go back to my screen now. We can go. We can read this further on the line if you want. Okay, so the the function is matrix, right? So you want to have a matrix uh, four by four. 
Okay. And our function uh, of construction will be like a const one. Sounds fair. And with this, we're going to call this M. Okay. So if I do M, we have this. Okay. Uh, so this is the this is a, this is the matrix. We have ways of manipulating the matrix. So just for uh, to have something more usable here to be more visual, I will do J and then I'm gonna do the sum. Why I plus J like this? And then if I do M, now we have something that we can relate to. Uh, okay, so there's a bunch of conversions from one list to the other. So there's a function got, called get ln, right? You pass a you pass a, a row, you pass a column, you pass a matrix, and you're going to have an element. Really good. Uh, there's also something. <laughs> there's also this. For some reason. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I see. I see. The difference between them is that one is inside a maybe. Oh, okay. Sure. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, mm. We can actually do to... some interesting things like this. Sure. Uh, but hey, uh, uh, what happens if you try to access something out of bounds? Uh, which with which one? The unsafe. The first one. Okay, so let's do ten here. No, the first one. Get element. Oh, get element. Uh... Oh no. Oh, sorry. I I I, th I thought I was in uh, unsafe thing. Oh okay. So the get element is the same as unsafe? It can be. We can try to we can read the, the implementation and see if one is equal to the other. Hmm. We can totally do that. Um, but uh, we also have interesting things. So for instance, we can have fmap because this has a functor, right? So hmm. if you go and you do what's the type what's of what this does it need to implement to use fmap? Can you print the fmap type? Yeah. So in order to implement, in order to be a functor, you need to have implemented this function here. This is the minimal. It's saying right here. So you have your minimal requirements to be a functor, and that is to implement this function here. And this is basically a lifting, right? So you oh. have a function from A to B. You want to have a function that goes from a functor A to a functor B. Oh, OK. Uh, so in this specific case, we have our matrix here. We can do fmap, and then we can do times two. Well, so yeah. Okay. Uh, M. Huh. As simple as that. No loops. No nothing. One line. Okay. Um, which is pretty cool. Now uh, we can go back to our. Okay, so this is working. Uh, it's still not correct because it's still complaining about whatever this is. Oh, it's because I didn't do the header of display, I think. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Module display where. OK, now I think. OK, so let's suppose that you ha you made a, a change in your code and you want to re you want to have the repo with these new updates. You do a uh, column R to reload. Isn't it recompiling? Okay. Yeah, it's recompiling. Uh, so for instance, now we have a problem because it's complaining that grid is not a type. Uh, which means that we need to import something. Yeah, we need to import. So let's go to the code and put import um, import types. Right. So I do, we have we now have the type. If I reload again, now we don't have any problems. Hmm. We even have the type of advance. Uh, we should at least. So do do we have advance uh, advance? Generation. Yeah, we don't. Which means, oh, I know what 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 this means. It's because we need to import everything here in order to use in the repo. So import uh, game of life. Import display. Import types. Now everything is in the entry point. Now we, if we reload, probably we we, we have advanced generation. Mm. It's not going to work, right? So if you try to use this function, it's not going to work because undefined, the implementation right. often is undefined. But you can see the types. And this is so useful because you can have a whole prototype 
prototyping brainstorm with your colleagues hmm. and you just define the types. Can you use this inside other functions and type check just okay? Uh, you mean undefined? it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. As far as I know. Okay, now so now you drive. Uh, wait a bit. So this okay. problem that we're going to be doing now in for Game of Life is basically a combination of data data dot matrix, uh, functor, right? Because we're going to do, be doing F map, um, and uh, yeah. Uh, wait a bit. Oh wait. Uh, okay, with F map. We have both indexes, right? Inside the we, function that we pass to fmap. No, we don't have both, but you can oh. if you want, because there's a function. No, but wait. There's a function called in. If you go to data.matrix, there's a function. Well, that you will iterate on that, we will mapping on that, receiving indexes, right? And not only the content of the. Yeah, no, but there, there's a, a better way to do that, what you, what you just said. I remember. Oh, here. It is this one, element wise. The second matrix must have the same list. If it's bigger, the leftover items will be ignored. Okay, so this is not this one. Oh, by the way, I'm only seeing your terminal. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I recommend you to go to data.matrix and okay. let's try to find the functions that can uh, provide us the indexes. Index. Because there is, there is one that does this, uh, I know for a fact. Okay. Oh, is this one map pause? Oh, yeah, map pause. Okay, set element. Let's see. Uh, so search for map pause. Okay. This is the one that you're gonna use. Those names, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. A map based on Both position. Indexes and then okay. A and B. Yeah. Matrix A, matrix B. Perfect, man. Because, well, I think it will matter, right? Because depending on where you, we, uh, we are, you don't have, like, all the neighbors. Uh, man. Okay, uh, let's... Maybe we need to write that. So, uh, how <laughs> are for free. comments? Oh, those are weird comments, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do they have some kind of multiline comment? Like, um, yeah, there is multiline comment. I don't necessarily remember why, how, what. Sorry. And I don't think no one really needs nowadays, like being able to select and use a shortcut. Uh, okay. No, it's like this. Okay, so I found a guy that hmm? uh, I found. I found a guy. So if you do like this. You can do like this. Oh. The, the guy said something about this. Oh, no, no, it's wrong. It's. Uh, oh, yeah. May, like, make more sense, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is how you do the block. Uh, so, Lemus, uh, we need some things to check for bounds. Like. Well, I think we do, not sure. Okay, so let's do a function. Check for bounds. No, 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 wait. Uh, let's talk about the problem. Because, okay, let's suppose we make a function that is reading the surroundings, and the way we would get the surroundings would be doing some arithmetics on the current indexes. But yeah. then that would not work, right? Because, for instance, if you are accessing the first, then you would get like uh, negative numbers when trying to get the preview cells, right? Yeah, so what about, I have a suggestion, mm -hmm. what, go to types.hs, types so I will create a, new, a few new types here. So I, I do have a, 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 a type idea for location. And a location would be a tuple with two numbers. Which I think is pretty fair, and then we got, we also have size, which you also will have. Uh, uh, what will also be? Uh, uh, what will be size? Number. Can you explain that to me? Size is the size of the board. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, that's. And then this uh, cells position on in on the grid. Um, this is a cell. Uh, and this is the board. Oh, those comments. Just to just to have a, a convention here, right? For the types. Okay, so with these types in mind, I would actually advocate for a function called check for bounds that will go along the lines of uh, we have a we have a location, we have a size, and we're gonna see if it's valid or not. If you already cross the bounds, because if you do that, uh, we're gonna have a type error, uh, actually an execution in runtime error. Uh, so no, 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 that doesn't make sense, man. Like when I mean check for bounds, it's not like checking for bounds in. Okay, I will make this data type and give you this function, and then I will check for bounds if you try to access somewhere. Not like this. It's we need to deal with this, not in this way. But well, basically, when we are like mapping the thing, we will have some positions that we will not access the out of bounds. Uh, that's the thing that I I'm thinking in how to treat, but I have no idea so far. Um, yeah, I don't think it's uh, like it maybe maybe it's possible to do check for bounds in, a, in like in a type level like for, the type itself is already safe enough that we, we it will not allow us like the type will be is smart enough to know its prop its bounds. But I think this is more complicated than we sh we 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 should go yeah, at that's least for the not moment. the thing that I'm thinking of, man. Okay. Uh, for instance, suppose we do it right now a map that goes through all the positions and do the following. Like they create variables and do like, oh, okay, the upper cell or up neighbor or something would be the one that I'm in right now, less one, the row and less, wait, no, no, in the same column. But one row less, yeah, right? Yeah, but one over before. And that would be like the up neighbor, right? And that would be the thing, man. You know, uh, no, but that's that's exactly what I'm saying. So the check for check for bounds function, the function knows the current cell position. It knows the size of the board, so it will know. Oh, you have a, you can you can check you can go to the to the. Um, actually, this is not the, the 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 location of the of the cell. This is the location of the target. So let's suppose that you are a cell like uh, I don't know, uh, like this. Oh fair, we do need the size. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna, and you, you are iterating on the on the middle one, but you want to know if you can check for this cell up here. I then think you. This would be a better name. Better okay, cell. that's fair. That's fair. But then you're gonna pass the location of uh, your neighbor that you want you want to know if you can go to, uh, and then you pass the size of the matrix. Uh, but there's a problem, right? You need to know your current lo your current position. Oh, fair. Um, and then you you pass your current position, you parent you pass your target, you pass the size of the thing, and then you you're gonna be able to say, okay, I can go here and check for this guy. Okay. Right? And now suppose we have the results for all the neighbors that we want to consider, and we have the results if they are valid or not. Now, what do we do? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do. Uh, okay, so the next function, Ooh, right? So that's a nice thing, Lemus. I think we can use list for that. Uh, suppose we make a list of the results of those ones, uh, and then, uh, well, let me think. No, I, I have, I have an idea. I okay, have an idea. Go on. So let's suppose that you let's suppose that you are I don't know the middle one here just for a con because then we're gonna have to uh, we have seven we have we have eight potential neighbors right here we have eight neighbors we have to check for all of them so this is, I'm suggesting to have a list of ones and zeros and the one and I will explain why numbers are not booleans in a moment because I have an idea for this. Oh. Let's suppose that uh, right now the current scenario for this middle guy is like this. So one is present, and and it, and it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter the the location. So it doesn't matter if this guy is alive, if this guy's uh, this is the one, 
or this is the one, doesn't matter. Because why it doesn't matter? Because it, what means for us is that okay, uh, I I want to count how many neighbors I have, right? So I right. suppose that you have something like this. I will give you time to explain your thing in a, in a moment. Let you just me finish this okay. because I I think this is a good idea. Because the position doesn't matter. How many things we have here? Three, three, eight. Okay. So this is the this is the neighbors. Okay. And alive or dead, right? Alive or dead. If you do a fold of this, you're gonna know how many guys you have alive and close to you. By the way, it doesn't really matter which ones are alive, right? Yeah, Just the exactly. number. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. And then we can use this this number to go to the rules because the numbers are directly related to the amount of neighbors that you have around you. Sure. And then if that's the case, we can now we can make a we can use a function like in the I think there is a function in data.matrix like set ellen okay. that you you pick a you pick a location and you pick a matrix like a grid and then it returns a grid with the, the element set and then we can just make the element alive or dead depending on the result of this list ah uh, but not that list the fold the fold uh, wait, of the wait, list wait, wait, but if you are setting the element and then applying the same again, that would be mutability. It would be the same. You would apply a rule with the next one and not the first one. Uh, I don't think it's mutability because you are passing a new no, grid. No, no, no. So when I mean it's mutability, is just that, uh, okay, uh, you will be influencing. You'll not be doing like simultaneously. You see, like if you do the action, on this and do oh, I see, time. I see what you, I see what you mean. But this grid, this first one, could be the end result. So we have three. The we have end result. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is. Wait. Uh, wait, Lems. What about this man? Uh, what about a function to get the cell, and then we get the eight neighbors with some standard arithmetics that we always have to get the neighbors and then it doesn't matter where we are it will return a, a maybe I, I will i was about to say an option but it will return a maybe then we get the ones that are the just and then do one these ones we count because that's the only thing that matters there's a um let me think because i think there's an abstraction for what you just said because if you have a mm. list of justs if you have a, a list of maybes i think there's a way to count just the justs oh like, okay in one step right in one yeah go. actually this is a fold no no isn't that like a function to, yeah sure you can write everything as a fold but, <laughs> but i mean don't we have something like don't we <laughs> don't we have something like uh uh, let's suppose like how many and then we pass a function that gives you a boolean and then he count how many is true he got right we can make this function if you it want it would be like any but counting instead of returning a r with all the the booleans Man, oh, I, I, wait. Lo I love it functional I, I think this problem is 10 times <laughs> easier <laughs> Using functional programming language, man. Let me let me just search for a guy. Uh, I think he. I think. Man, wait. I think that we can use a monoid for this. I have to think a little bit more because then we can explain to you what a what a monoid is in like concrete terms. Okay, anyway, because that's... I think that this thing, this thing is a monoid in. Because you are concatenating them, and for each value you have a specific like nothing would be zero, right? Just would be the value inside the just. Yeah, this can be done with the fold, but I think it would be interesting to try to exploit the monoid. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be really cool, really cool. Yeah, I, um, I think that's a good opportunity. Yeah. Okay. So let's try to do that. So now that we have uh, all the things, like, um, where you can go, go ahead. Feel free. Ah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, wait a minute, man. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so I write like this, and then can I write just the arguments like normally like this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Actually, you're not obligated to write this. Okay. But, we, yeah. I just do this because this helps us to visualize what we want to do with the function. Yeah, I guess it helps a lot. So, let's... Okay, so allocation is a tuple. I would uh, advocate for pattern matching. So oh, we have I1, G1. We no, also wait, have... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm actually really wrong. That's not get cell. That's get... Oh, okay. We have get cell and get neighbors. Get neighbors, yes. Uh, can you write that for me? Neighbors in that yeah. second one? Okay. Uh, so here we only need lo one location and one grid. Yeah. Uh, location, grid, and maybe cell. That that looks okay. Right. So this okay. So this is correct. Neighbors is correct. Who would have guessed? So okay. target. How are you calling? Oh, okay. Location. Target location. Oh no, we don't need that actually. Location, grid. Okay, and that would be equal. And how can I get a uh, a maybe? From a get in a matrix. No, but we we already have a function that does this. Okay, look at look at my terminal. Okay. We have a function called get alum. And that's the one that I want, right? Okay, no, no, this is not what you want because you wanted to return as uh, this is unsafe, I think. But that's the safe thing that you. No, no, no. The, before, I don't. Right? I don't think it's a safe. Safe get. This is what we want. Yeah, literally safe. Safe get. Okay, so you have an int, you have an int, you have a matrix, you have a maybe. So what you can do is like this. You can do safe get, and then you can pattern match the location. Uh, yeah, no, like so we have a specific reason for using the location type. It's easy, uh, right, to pass? No, it's just, to, no, it's just more descriptive. Okay. Right? We are adding meaning to the, to the types, oh. with, and we, are, we don't have to keep them in our minds. Oh, a tuple of ints is the location. No, it's written in front of you. Okay, we can do it better here. Okay. And to use this function, we also need to import import data matrix. Uh, can I have? Oh, I my editor doesn't help seeing the things right now, like the arguments of the functions. Uh, but let me see here. And I would like to see if get, if get, and yeah, the first one is the row. Uh, yeah, this is just fine. That's a nice thing. Get so, and then get neighbors, and get neighbors would receive the location. Yeah, but here we need names to know. Which one is which? Like the target and the um, current one. But I have a problem with this function. I don't. I don't. Understand. I'm not getting why the signature is like this. So get neighbors no, no. is. Yeah, that's not a maybe cell. That's a list of. Wait. A list like this. List of cells. Yeah. A list of cells or maybe cells. No, of cells. We don't need to treat the maybe. Okay. Uh. So okay, we need two locations where you are. Wait, no, no, only where you are. Exactly. With this plural, get neighbors in plural, I think we only have, need the current location and the, the board, and then oh, we're yeah. good to go. Hell yeah. Uh, I still think we, we would need like a name, just to be sure that, okay, this is like your current location. Grid doesn't, would need a name. I guess. Uh, so, um... like, can we do it like S? No, not sure if that would help, right? Only for putting the name. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what I mean is, we could do this and use this thing to do what we want, but... Uh, we can do it even better? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that would make, like, both. Would be the this construct and we we'll also... Okay. Yeah, uh, because here, for instance, get cell, you don't really need a name for that. Like, you know, that is the target. But... Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then we need the grid. Yeah. And then we just need to get specific ones. Let, let's pretend I can use let here. You can. 
and uh, oh no wait 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 you can use let but not for this specific functionality that you want you what you want is where oh yeah because you want to do i don't know a name here and you want to define the name you, you want to define the name inside the scope of this function so it's basically a function inside you know the the lets that we do inside of the functions to do this here you do like this So Why? if you want to use name here, uh, wait. What is name here, Lemus? Name. Uh, oh, okay, so okay. You are using this, and but you yeah. are declaring after. But what yeah. The fuck? No, no, that's not really what I want to do. But yeah, I I could do it this way. But uh, can we do it like this and like do a bunch of names like yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That it's weird. <laughs> in some way, because you are declaring things after, but I can't see why it's better to read, right? Especially if I have. Oh, a yeah, it's name. so much better to read, man. Oh, okay. So, holy, I. Mm. Man, I don't know a better way than only doing like a name for each neighbor, and we could like make some code for that. Uh, like, left up or up. Or, you no, know. but the problem with that strategy, the, that the thing that I mm -hmm. think, uh, I think we should, we should, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not satisfied with this function here. Okay. That's my other thing because Wait, I think that this let, function. Let's begin by the type signature. Do you think that is yeah. something lacking? Yeah, but that, that's the thing. I think that the get neighbors function should receive the current location. Right? Yeah, should that's receive the, the current location. Should receive the grid. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, but I think we are doing too much in this function. I think it should, we should break this function in two. Why? Mm. Because this function it needs to pay, it needs to do to do two things. It needs to identify which guys in the grid are the are the neighbors of the of a, of a cell, and that also means like uh, identifying that we are on the top left corner and that this cell only has three uh, three neighbors. It needs to identify how many neighbors. This function needs to do two things: identify how many neighbors a cell has and collect them. I think we should break these two uh, functions. That, that's functions. not that's not the case, Lem. That's not the case. We are not uh, worried about the numbers or anything. Uh, let, let me try to describe what oh, I want. Oh, I function. see now what I, you want to I do. I only want. This is why I want to save. Uh, yes, because. Yeah, that's the only thing that we are doing. Basically, here we have the computation, the information on how to get the neighbors from a cell. And we have the second thing that would be instead of returning maybes, we are already filtering and returning only the ones that are some or just in this case. Yeah. But what I want to know is do you have a nice way to encode the like those computations? Like, that's the first way that one would think, right? Like, encode with a name like this. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess we could do it like a list of functions that are like having the uh, the function that gets the position, but not sure if it would be necessary. Yeah, probably over Wait. Here. No, no, but wait, I, I think. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Oh man, I have a very, very fancy way of doing mm. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so damn fancy. Holy okay, crap. Let's go. Uh, okay, so the first thing that I thought is like, uh, I want to create a list of neighbors. So, But this list of neighbors, neighbors is they, it's a special because they are not uh, like the neighbors themselves. They are just indexes. It's a list of in, the, the indexes of the neighbors. Oh, that's... Um, so this is the first thing. So we would have... Wait, and can, that, can, you, can you repeat that for me? Neighbors yeah. will be what? Neighbors will be a list that will contain the index of the neighbors that we are trying to, to, to find. Okay. And then we're going to do fmap on this list of indexes with get cell. Okay. And then... You need, you need to compute these neighbors. You know that, right? And then no, no, no. But wait, wait. We are, the... we are we are getting to the fanciness. Okay. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. Let's suppose this is going to be a list of indexes. So 
Uh, a list of functions. A list of functions. Okay. So we have a row. I'm going to use a row in a column. And we want to do row. Uh, we want to return row minus one, C minus one, and so on and so forth. Let's suppose that we have all the things here, right? Mm -hmm. Which type is this? This type is a, is a list is a list of functions A to A. Uh -huh. We don't want that. Why we don't want that? Because we don't want to have to pass all eight times the, the current row and the current column. We want to do that one single time. Okay? And there's a function for that called sequence. So look at my terminal now. Uh, wait a bit. I'm kind of lost on that. Scene. No, yeah, no, it's pretty. No, this is this is high level. This is fancy as shit. <laughs> uh, are you, can you are you watching my yes, terminal right yes, now? On this okay, so take a look at this. So let's suppose that we have a list of exactly what you want to do. So let's suppose that we have an anonymous function that picks an A and returns A plus one. We also have another function that picks an A and returns A plus two. Oh Oops. crap! Okay, A plus two. What is the type of this? Is a is a list from A to A that has to be has to have implemented the num type class. Okay. Look what happens if and only if we do we pass this to the sequence, right? So this transformed from a list A to A to a, a function that picks an A. It returns me a list of A's. Man, now. If I if I do if I pick this result and I give it a name, so let's call it uh, Ramos, Ramos, I think you are doing something that we don't need, man. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't we need just to like a uh, fold? Well, not fold. To map this list, calling the function with the current position. Um, I, I want you to uh, now go back. To, you see what happened? Okay, you want to show idea? Okay, ah. Uh. So, yeah, the idea is that in, we can have uh, a list of uh, the indexes. So we have a current row and a current column, and we man, and we have we're gonna have eight functions uh, wait, inside wait, this wait, list. Wait, 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 just just a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> you are doing what I said, but oh, I see, I see, you are doing what I said, but oh, in, a, in a in a in a oh, okay. I see. Now I'm taking a look on the like signature of sequence list func. Oh, okay. So you are doing like the map internally and getting what you received and calling all the functions with it, right? What we are doing, we are instead of having a list of A to A's, which would would need like if we have three functions here. So this would mean that we have we have to pass three A's. Would involve but in our like uh, how can I say like mapping with a apply, right? Uh, this is more close to traverse, and this is a very fancy abstraction that I, I actually still, I'm, it's hard to process oh, wait, in my mind. How is that different from mapping? The, oh, wait. So let me continue. Just, just let me finish. So okay. here, we would have to pass three A's. Why? Because we have a function here that it expects an A, expects an A, and expects an A. But in our particular case, we always want the A's to be the same. Right, and this function sequence it does this for us. It plumbs the one single a to all the functions inside this this list. Uh, Lemos, like that's exactly what I said, but shorted because sequence does what I said. But isn't that exactly just mapping this list, invoking the function in it with a location? But the difference is that sequence creates a function that like this of that for us, right? Yeah, pretty much. So my, uh, uh, I want to suggest us to do the following. Now we can go back to the code. Okay. We're gonna create a function. We're gonna create eight functions. I actually would advocate to make yeah. them outside. Yeah. So we that, have a top left. Oh man, you just solved what I was thinking about. Like, 
Then and they... then we're going to pass, we're going to pass all the, these eight functions in this list, applies this to, to uh, applies a sequence, and then we're going to just pass one time current row and current column, and we're going to have a function of all the positions of all the locations of all the potential neighbors. Right? And then and then we're going to have a function of of locations, right? We're going to have a function of locations. We can do f map of this list using get cell. Right. We need to inverse the, the, the order of this. And then we can partial apply it. We can do things like inverse this with this. And then we have a list of locations. We can just partial apply get cell passing this, the grid, the same grid. So it's also following the, the, the sim being simultaneous. Uh, wait a bit. Uh by the way, this order makes much more sense, of course. Because, well, yeah, it just makes more sense. Uh, and let me just see. Ah, uh, what? Oh, okay, okay, wait. You are expecting a location. Yeah. So, You are mapping this list and passing the location to, okay to get the map cell. Okay. Yeah, and then with the map cell, we can do some pro post processing to get this, the list of cells because we we're gonna have a list of maybe cells. Yeah. Then we and then only the just right. Yeah, we can then do something else. Like a fold match and only add the ones that we want. Yeah. So I I think this is a really good uh, use case for a sequence because. Man, I used this sequence in my graduation project and it blowed my mind back uh, then. Lemus, it's not as fancy as or as cool as you are talking about, but it's nice that it's shorter than doing a map and applying the thing with it. And yeah, we will have the name. So let me go with this also. Yeah, so I will do the... F uh, I will f by the way, uh, I guess it's okay, right? Only naming like top left instead of being like, oh, okay. Instead of being like uh, get top left, because I don't think the get would be important in this. Yeah, no. Uh, top right. Uh... Oh man, this is gonna be so damn cool at the end. <coughs> top right, I need to increase the column and go one up, so minus one. Uh... So we have top middle. Does it make sense to have like top middle? Because what about right? Right is neither bottom or top, and right. I am in favor of uh, because everything on the like above the current cell, we're gonna use the top keyword. Everything on the sides, we're gonna use left and right, uh, and everything on the okay, bottom. So then, doesn't make more sense to have like top and right if you are in a position when okay, you makes only sense. need to makes move sense. one. Makes sense. Right. Okay, so I will also do bottom right now. Okay. Oh man, it's gonna be so damn fancy. That was totally unexpected. Man, Haskell, it's really good for now. <laughs> well, <laughs> not only Haskell, but. Uh, this I need to increase one, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have the right, we have the left. Uh, so let me pick the right. Bottom, bottom, right. Wait, that's uh, wrong, right? Yeah, oh. no, I'm, I need to change this. So this is in the same row, but this is Wait, plus one. Top left, then top. And like, then this we are rotating, left. right? Top right. I don't know which order you were following. I am following this one. Uh, I'm doing like... Uh, well, let me get the thing here. I'm doing like this. Like, it starts here, and then go rotate in this way, you see? No, okay, okay. You can reorganize the functions if you want. I'm just implementing them okay. real quick. So bottom and bottom. Right. And then we, the bottom left is decreasing, no, increasing a row and going back a column. We also have the bottom right. Bottom right. And that is increasing a column and increasing uh, this this thing. And I think we're done. 
Uh, okay, let me just organize. Uh, you can reorganize there, uh, and I will start adding line. these guys. So we have the bottom. top, we have left, we have right, we have bottom, we have top uh, left, we have top. Can we create right. modules inside modules? Or... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think. Uh, we can we can you we can search that because I never did it. I only use modules inside modules for work, in, at work. Um, we also have bottom left, and we also have bottom right. right. So we have eight. Okay. So my the plan is going ni nice. So we have the neighbors, and right? we have the neighbors. We are sequencing them. So this is a function that receives uh, neighbors. Is a function, right? that receives uh, a single location and uh, pass this location to all these eight guys. Sure. And we're going to and in this way we're going to have a list of locations. We're going to have a list of locations. And uh, we want to pick this list of locations. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I'm gonna do it with parentheses right now. We we don't need this current location, and I'm gonna pass the current location. Okay. So now neighbors. What the fuck? Neighbors. Is that? Yeah. So neighbors is uh is this? Go to the go to the my terminal. Okay. So this is the type, but instead but a is a location. Yeah. This is the type of neighbors. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do, because after all of this, what you're going to have? We're going to have a list of maybe locations. Neighbors. Yeah, maybe we want locations. to we no, we no, it's going to have a list of locations because at, at this moment the matrix doesn't matter. Right? So, in mm, order to that's make That's a maybe, man. No, no, no. There's not there's not a maybe. Location is it's always location to location. Oh, okay, is, because you mean like HUA, right? Yeah, exactly. Now we want to, to do neighbors, like the real neighbors. Now oh, we're going to do we F map. Are the filtering side? Uh, no, no, we are not doing the filter. We are always assuming that it's possible to get a location and trans and get all the eight neighbors. That doesn't make sense right. because it's not. Wait, it's it makes sense. Wait, wait. And then with these eight locations of the potential neighbors, we're gonna do. We're gonna pick this these indexes, right? Because this is basically a, a, a tuple with oh, a. Oh, that's a location, not a cell. Oh, okay, fuck. I was thinking about the cell. And then we do get. We do this. And then this. Now we have a list of maybe cells. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's right. That's right. And okay. in once in two lines, right? Um. Now we yeah, just have to filter can... the, the nothings. Uh, yeah, we could do that already if you want to. Like no, yeah, but it would be a little, a little long. I don't like long lines. I'm already stressed with this. <laughs> uh, actually, we don't need to. Uh, so, um, potential neighbors. We can just copy paste. This is not contest dependent. We can just do like this, and put potential neighbors. And if you really want to be fancy, you can even put a type. You can say that this is a list of. Um, actually, I would I I actually prefer to put the sequence here. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, you are totally right. There is no reason to have these. And then we have a location, and then we're gonna have a list of locations. Like this. Who? Look uh, at this! Yeah, but we can get a better name for that because that's basically like getting like neighbors location, like getting neighbors index or something, you know? Yeah, get neighbors index. You can change the name. Okay. Um, but hey, man, look at this that, man. That's pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty fine, man. Uh, do you, did you say index? I forgot. Yeah, index. Get neighbors index. Holy fuck, that's beautiful, man. <laughs> Two lines, <laughs> two lines. Okay. Let's see if this thing compiles, though. Uh, I don't. It even... doesn't compile. Wait, it doesn't compile. Oh, exactly because of what you just did. It just did. Um, uh, so there's also something going index. on here. And delete this fucking parentheses. Yeah, it compiles. 
Uh, it okay. compiles. Neighbor indexes. Then we are getting cell on this grid. With those locations. Oh, no, no, wait. Those locations, you are mapping that. Yeah. To get. I'm transforming the location to an actual maybe cell. Okay, okay. It makes sense. And, okay, how do you do the folding, getting only the gists? Uh, you have a one who have a function that does that in one step, please. <laughs> like function, no, no, literally function that receives a list of maybe something, and then return this just this generic type. Okay, so just one sec. I need to talk. Uh, uh, okay, I, I will, just need to talk. Yeah, I will explore yeah. hackers meanwhile. Okay, yeah, go, do that, do that, no problem. Uh, today. Okay, okay. I already sent my message, so we can continue. Uh, so what do you want? You want a function that does what, sorry? Uh, yeah, for some reason I'm not finding Pogo. I think, yeah. Uh, basically what I want is this. Let me get you this time. Okay. Uh, it's just I receive a list of... Maybe A, not sure how to track that in And then I get a list of A. I think there's a package called data.maybe. Uh, we can try to explore. Man, those names really look like something from the STD. <laughs> yeah, like data.matrix, right? Oh, man. Oh, no, but that's only the name space. Oh, okay, you could have two packages with the same namespace, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Only the name of the package that... Okay. Okay, I want to do a test. Data, data maybe has a, has a function that does this. Uh, wait, you are not sharing your screen again. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot. Oh, man, this is getting ultra fancy. I'm, I'm liking it. Man, that's so easy. <laughs> that's so easy. <laughs> okay, I think you can... You can see, right? So let's see if I need to uh, download Just in this. case you have anything, uh, we are already on the 9. No, no, I, I want to go a little bit further. Today. Uh, yeah, so if you have the time and you're also like available to at least like more half an hour to do that. Yeah, okay. So let's try a simple example with, like, I don't know, 10. And then, no, I actually want to have a nothing in the middle. <laughs> and we're going to have a like this. And I want to do an F. No, wait. Uh, let's do L. I want to f map the L with a function called maybe to list. Okay. It's not exactly what I want. It's not exactly. Which is. Uh, uh, well. Wait, can't we like search for like type signatures in? Oh! 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 Cat maybes. Cat? Holy! What the fuck's cat, man? <laughs> but yeah, that's the exactly the function that I want. Man. That's exactly the one. Okay, so you want to do instead of undefined, we want to do cat maybes. Uh, we will need to import data dot maybes. So data. But, hey, man, what is cat maybes? I think it's inspired in the cat command line in Linux. So it's trying to catch, it's trying oh. to read the maybes. Um, maybe neighbors. Okay. Uh, Is this going to work? Uh, yeah, I pretty sure. Okay, so let's recompile this thing. Okay, it doesn't work. It does not work. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> so oh, it's wait. complaining. We have oh, it's this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's save this and let's just compile. And it compiles. Holy fuck. <laughs> Cat maybes. And then maybe na that's perfect, man. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, man. <laughs> Look at this uh, thing. Lemons. Uh... Oh man, we are using sequence to do like Game of Life, yeah. This is pretty fancy. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> uh wait. Okay, now we can explore data. Uh, how many neighbors? Uh, 
can oh, go oh, function. Oh, okay, I, I remember why it was Trask. Uh, do we need the actual cells? Like, I no, know, we don't. I know that we will count outside this function, of course. But, uh, okay, uh, just asking, in which scenario we would need the actual cells? Um, no, we, ju we need the cells just to print, to put into display. No, no, I mean, uh, when going in one cell, in which context, in which scenario, we would need the neighbor cells instead of the neighbor's count. Maybe in we some future improvement. Just like just thinking ahead or trying to. Okay, no, it. I don't. I, I yeah, maybe just in the future. Right now, I don't know the answer for that question. Yeah, we only need the count for that, right? Yeah, we just need the count. And I think, yeah, we are done regarding knowing how many neighbors, and then it's just the rules to know if he dies or not. Oh, no, no, there's fuck. a display. There's the display as no, well. No, 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 no. I mean. Oh my, man, that's so easy. <laughs> like, holy fuck! Now you only need ifs, basically, for knowing like what to do if this happens. What are you not. talking? What are you talking about ifs? You're gonna use guards. No, no, no. I, I know, but uh, man, you only need two branching on the numbers of neighbors to know if you are alive or not. Oh my! Well, and also the current state. I guess, I guess, not so sure. And then okay, we just so... need to like pass through that thing and it's, oh my, I, I'm shocked. We could, <laughs> we could finish this today if we don't get like any problem with the rendering library, man. Uh, length cells. I think that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. By the way, I Lemos, think... that's basically just as easy in JavaScript. Except maybe from the get safe part, we would need to do that ourselves. But yeah. Why the heck you still you keep bringing JavaScript to the conversation? <laughs> because it would be easier to render. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> the alive or not would basically be uh, uh, okay. That's this color or not? Uh, no, we want to uh, next next uh, session about H H Vita. We're going to do the display. I just want to do a test, just a, a te uh, uh, like. A... Well, we can print on the terminal, right? For no, now. we can print. No, we can print on the terminal. So I want to create a grid. I want to create a grid. Uh, a grid. Okay, so test. Let's put a little bit of a better naming. Test grid. This guy will be using the function matrix. Let's use a, I don't know, a four by four configuration. And we're gonna pick the the I and the J. Uh, oh, that's 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 fancy. Uh -oh. This is a reduction eta in, cal in lambda calculus. What? Uh, yeah, this this move that you did of removing this and removing this, that this has a this has a name in lambda calculus called okay. reduction reduction, I believe. Yeah, not sure if I heard about this one. Um, ben uh, talked about it when uh, in in a in Slack at some point. Okay. And I also learned in my in when I did the functional programming course. But anyway, I went to do a test grid four by four, in which I don't know. I kind of want some random whatevers. So I don't know if e maybe the first is odd, the second is paired, then it's alive. I don't know. Oh, but that it's not going to generate a pattern. I think we need to initialize one grid by hand. And just setting like a known initial position. Then we know like the known state in okay uh, after some steps, you know. Yeah. Okay. So how this is gonna work? Uh, we have a location. Oh no. We're gonna call. We cannot get neighbors, do right? it one in. Oh no. We cannot generate one in the way that I would. Yeah, no, but I just want to. I just want to go to this point. How many neighbors? So I would do like this. Now you see my go to my back to my terminal. I will reload this, and uh, I should have the test. 
Yeah, I do. So if I want to know, I don't know, let's call it in, I, the neighbors of a, lo a specific location, choo choo, uh, using the test grid, this should compile just fine. And you didn't compile. Should have all those neighbors, right? Uh, it's not why... in one, right? Yeah, but why didn't compile? I'm a little bit confused. So let's call it a T. And let's say that the type of this is location. Okay. Uh, sh are you happy now? No. Couldn't match expected type location uh, with actual type int int. What is the type? What is the type location again? Yeah, it's in int. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused right now. The function t. Okay, so it's saying that function t is a. Oh, wait, wait. It's saying that function t but is a function, but it's a location. We also have the test grid. So, I'm okay. not understanding. And what is what was the? Oh, that oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, exactly. I'm not calling any function. Oh, okay. The value. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if I try to do something like this, nice. And okay. now I can call how many? Should be all of those, right? The max. Uh, should be eight. eight. Yeah, should be eight. Okay. Now let's try like one, two. Wait. Uh, okay. Oh, one, two. Here. Okay. Should have um, like five, right? One two. Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. It's like row and column. Row. Call. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Actually, one, one two and two one. It's the same. Not the same thing, but should have the same result. No, but one two is the row one position two, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, I remember why I got pissed. Mm. Now I remember. What do you mean? It's because any any sensible library in the planet it starts counting matrix starting from zero, but this crap starts from one. No, it depends on the context. It's not no, it, one or not. no, but I never seen I never seen in all my life a programming language that uses uh, well, uses starts from one instead of from zero. Lemus, I well I would expect this to be the case for lists, like supposing F sharp. I would expect that. I would be surprised if it starts with zero. It's not an array, so. No, and uh, anywho, this is low-level prog programmer um, concerns because that, when you're working with images, when you're working with like C and uh, m image manipulations, mm -hmm. you're actually using you start from zero always. And this, yeah, I, I remember there, my partner and I when we discovered this, we got real mad. <laughs> we, we we almost we almost like dumped the entire library because no, of but you see why does it make sense right uh so so and i still i advocate for the zero uh, no no it because do you know why do we start with zero like you know why um it's because yeah, we are because doing like arithmetics on like the pointers right yeah so there doesn't make sense there is no pointers at the level of abstraction well yeah uh, I would say that um, convention for this for this particular application that we are using the matrix, it can it, it's nice that it starts from one. Uh, but in like I said, when you're working with because usually matrices are images in real life. When you're programming mm -hmm. with matrix, you are usually programming with images, and you're, when you're programming no, no, with no, images, it's the, no, it's the opposite, Lemus. When you are I working don't think with, so. yeah, because you could be doing matrix and not be an image but you would do an image and you would probably be a matrix right no but the only particular scenario where you're working with a matrix and that is not an image is like probably mathematical application so you're trying to prove theorems you're trying to do abstract stuff you, you should try mm. in, in commercial applications the only use case that i know for a matrix at least on the top of my mind is an, is image processing uh, that that's weird but let's go with that uh, anywho, this worked as you as you can see. Mm -hmm. We the the get neighbors function, which is one of the most complicated functions of this particular exercise, is like <laughs> five lines in in which one of them is just a type signature. Uh, oh my! It's so damn elegant. This this is so good. I agree, man. <laughs>
This is awesome, man. This is great. We need to figure out how to connect it to advanced generation, right? Because uh, we need to uh, actually keep in mind that we need that everything occurs like simultaneously, right? Uh... Yeah, but we... if you are doing a map, that already does what we want, Lemos. The map we won't like modify the current run. Uh... Wait, wait, now I'm. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, yeah, the grid that we are passing. I think it's going to be an OR. We're going to have multiple matrix, right? Each one of them with the... Uh, wait, this is just a suggestion. Uh, just, okay, uh, go on, go on. Okay, so for each particular uh, cell in the, in the thing, we're going to have a grid. Right. What? And for if you want to for each cell? Yeah, for this is just a su initial suggestion. I'm oh, I it. see what you are doing. You like interpolate grids? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's That's too really much to call it interpolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, That's I, I, too fucking fancy, but go with it. I want to hear it. <laughs> it's totally fancy. No, I think you already got it. It's basically like for each individual cell oh, we have my. a grid and then we do a fold with a list of grids doing an or. Right. Man. And then, boom. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Lemos. Uh, that's really fancy. But I have a simpler and probably less costly, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that would cost a lot of memory uh, for sure. So, uh, suppose we are, like, mapping the grid. And we have a function here that receives, like, the location of it. Uh, no, no, actually... It's like, yeah, location and is alive and it will return the is alive. So actually, we would need like this. Okay. How do you do it? It's like this? Yeah, this is an anonymous function. Okay, and it should return the is alive or not. Uh, and this location, we would pass like, what is the thing? How many neighbors? How many neighbors? Oh, wait, but... Oh, it gets the grid, right? No, no, no. No, no, that's that's wrong. It needs a location. Oh, no, no. That's only for getting the... Oh, okay. I see, I see. Get neighbors is what I want. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, but get neighbors... This is wrong, right? Yeah, this is, should be the opposite. The signature, right? Oh, you want to partial apply it? Not that I want to, but if we need to, I guess it would make more makes sense. It makes more sense. Way. Yeah, it makes more sense. Because the location varies more than the grid, right? Yeah. So that would be like old. Oh, wait. Let me break the line. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, let's pretend. Uh, any... You can do it like this, man. Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> Yeah, it could. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Any. Oh man, this pro this this thing is awesome. Like, I was not expecting that much from us today, uh, but this abstraction right here of man, using. I'm so happy on what <laughs> every not everything, but the basic things that we have from functional programming are like caring this algorithm so heavy <laughs> like we are not doing anything <laughs> like the things that the language has it they are like solving all the problems like automatically oh yeah like the immutability the the maybe type <laughs> they are already doing like the logic for us okay. yeah no it's a good example of functional programming oh for my sure. fucking god but okay now we get the location <laughs> Like, okay, location, right? And you see, this is getting like the old read on like the closure, like only by context. Then we are only 
we are always getting the old grid. We are getting the neighbors from the old grid. So we are not modifying the one that we are mapping right now. No, makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah, no mutations, uh, quote unquote <laughs> mutations. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but it, how are we gonna do this? But I, I got the idea that after this line, you're gonna have the number of neighbors and then you're gonna use that yeah, what we are returning is the cell, right? And right now, the cell is just a boolean, if it's alive or not. Then okay, we I will have create like a new... the match. Yeah, I will create a new type mm -hmm. called neighbors. Um, number. Uh, no, no, number no, 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 that, no, man. Nah. Just for that... now, just, just for now. Just to make a more explicit function. Oh my because God. this advanced cell generation requires a number of... No, no, no. Of I, I would prefer... Well... Uh, wait, does that make... S no, no. Uh, well, let's... This could be an int. Actually, uh, I'm fine. Yeah, but I, I want the neighbors, man. I really want the neighbors. <laughs> you know? I want the neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> like, because list of cells, it, it doesn't... It's not enough for me. I want the the neighbors is equal. Oh, okay. Let let. No, me no, no. But you can you can put list of neighbors. Oh, neighbors, you can you can put neighbors as a boolean as well. So we can no, just no. copy what paste. I, what this I want guy. is neighbors is equal to list of cells. Oh, we can we can definitely do that. So list of cells like this. Uh, we were in okay game of life. Uh, okay, you want advanced generation, like basically a grid, and then like spit the other, right? Isn't oh no no oh, advanced cell generation? Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, and this can be neighbors actually, and then we can we can call we we can call the how many neighbors inside this? <gasps> Lemus, that's uh how can I say that in English? Genial? Genius? <laughs> Genius. Genius like, move? No, no. Uh, like, idea genial. Like, genial idea? Yeah, genial idea. Brilliant idea? Brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. brilliant ideas. I, I, I'm, I'm good at, with that. Uh, yeah, because, <laughs> Lemos, if you are doing this way, instead of receiving the numbers, then we are already having the same type signature. If we want to do some improvement regarding the cell, for instance, depending on the number of neighbors, we could change the color of the cell, oh, and the type fancy. would not change, man. <laughs> you see? That's fucking awesome. Okay, oh, but my. we're gonna do something like uh, uh, neighbors here, uh -huh. uh, and then we're gonna do um, um, we're gonna do something like this. Oh, this is a good opportunity to you to learn uh, guards. So this is basically the exact same thing as spider matching. Uh, right. By the way, also we have a function only to like have the logic of the match. That's pretty nice. Um, so let me just uh, see, because there's some like I I don't use guards in Haskell for like uh, it's it's been a long time since <laughs> I used okay. uh, this. Okay, so it's like this. Um, so it's like this. As far as I remember how to do words, but it's basically the, the, the matching that we usually uh, do in, uh, in F Wait, sharp. But that's strange. What I intend by guard is on the pattern matching, uh, besides the data itself that you are like disconstructing and matching or not, then you can do the guard that is an extra checking for some like Boolean expression. Yeah. Um, so, there's an an alternative. Uh, we we, do, we don't need to we don't need to use guards. We can also use case of. Oh. Case of number of neighbors. And it depends on. Of, the, does it depends on the state of the cell, or can we take a look on only the numbers? Um, uh, need to check. You need to check the rules again because I already yeah. kind of forgot. Because that way. If depends on the cell, would be better like to match the cell. Oh, but that's only like true or false right here. Uh, and we could like do it the condition regarding the neighbor numbers on the. Yeah, that's basically what we what we were doing. 
the guard will do exactly what you just said. We will just check to see with uh, the number that we have of neighbors. So for instance, uh, mm. we do have uh, here. So any live cell with fewer than two uh, neighbors dies. Oh, wait, wait, let me. Can you see it on my screen? Because that way we are showing on the screen. Okay, I can uh, see on your screen, so, yes. Okay. okay, so any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors die. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's the thing. If it's not live, if it's dead, and we have fewer than two neighbors, it the result would still be dying, right? No, but look at number four. Like okay. the number four is the only only case where a dead cell can is like it matters if the cell is alive or dead. No, no. What I mean is, uh, this one we are only looking on the number if it's fewer than two. So here it's three, so it doesn't interfere with the first. What I mean is, on the first, it doesn't matter if it's alive or not. No, oh, I don't know if I agree with that. Why? Um, if the if the uh cell was dead here, and we have less than two neighbors. Oh wait. On, oh yeah. If we have less than two neighbors, and we are dead, what we we continue that. Yeah. We continue that. Yeah, so then it doesn't matter if it's alive or not. We are only uh, checking on this number to return if it's alive or not. In the particular case of number one, yes. Okay, so let's read the others. Any live cell with two or three neighbors leaps onto the next one. Okay, if it yeah. was that... Oh, wait. With two or three, it's alive. So let's take a look on the four again. Any dead cell with exactly three neighbors becomes alive. But if it yeah. was live already, it would also be alive. So also, it doesn't matter here if it's alive or not. Like, would be a mix of two and four. We are only taking a look on two or three. Like, the four doesn't even exist because... No, the number... No, but that's the thing. The only particular case... The only reason we need to care if the cell is alive or dead, because if the cell is alive, we need to check for three rules. And if the cell is dead, we need to only to do one check. Oh, wait. The only thing that I see different is here, because if we have two and it's alive, then it stays alive. But if it has two and it's dead... Oh, no, no. Oh, no. No, it's two. one or zero. So the first, the first rule is if you have one zero or one neighbors die, uh, 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 only zero or one neighbors, you die. Okay, uh, let me. What about we? Yeah, let's copy this here. Yeah, copy and go to the code. I think it's let's a good see. move. Um. <laughs> let's copy every. So then, this will be false. Okay. Okay. So. Um, how exactly we're gonna do this well I'm rotating here uh, so if uh, n and n we build the number of neighbors less than two then that so here and leaves uh, with two or three neighbors who leaves in the next generation. So if n equals two, two or n equals three, then a line uh, and leaves uh, with more than three die. Oh. Any dead cell? Oh wait, if it's dead and has more than three, it doesn't become alive, right? If it's dead and has exactly more than three, three, no, you die. You do, you continue dead. Oh, that's interesting. So more than three is always dead. Um. Yeah. That's pretty much the 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 final final case. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm trying to be a little more pedantic. 
um, yeah, because here it are like simplifications, right? Because you could write the exact rules, uh, like considering if it's alive or not, even if that like is redundant, right? But you could write this way for sure. Yeah. So if you have more than three, so uh, if you have exact three and you are al alive, you w do what? Sorry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me just read this. Any dead cell is exactly three becomes alive. But if you were alive, if you had trees already alive, okay. So these three that I wrote, they are already all the rules, I guess. Okay, so if you any if you are alive and you have no 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 uh, being alive or not doesn't matter for what I say. no no but I will I'm trying to be oh, we okay, can simplify yeah. it later. I just want to um, do a first draft. So any live cell with more than three live neighbors dies. Okay, so uh, if you are if you have more than three and you are alive. Oh, that's the the guard that you are saying. They are like yeah. only buildings. Oh, okay. That way you don't have to match on anything specific. Um, okay, so any dead cell with exactly three. Okay, so there's a uh, N. If you have exactly three and you are dead, dead, then you become alive. So let's. I I would I I you're gonna read the English version, and okay. I will read the code version. Okay. Can I start? Okay. So yeah, go. Okay. Any leaf cell with fewer than two leaf neighbors dies. Okay. Any leaf cell with two or three neighbors lives into the next generation. Oh, no, wait. Two or three and it's alive, stays alive. Yes. Okay, so this is alive. Oh, wait, I'm following you. <laughs> uh, okay, let me repeat. Any leaf cell with two or three neighbors lives into the next generation okay okay the third one any leaf cell with more than three leaf neighbors dies okay and then the last one any dead cell with exactly three neighbors becomes leave okay okay so this is the code this is a for me, a perfect match between English and, uh, and has. Wait, wait, let me just see one thing. If it's that and has true. Oh, wait, exactly three becomes a leap. Okay. Oh, wait, I think my version was wrong, maybe. My simplification. Yeah, we can try to simplify it later. Yeah, like if yours is like one to one, you can just use it. Oh, okay, and then you will end later. Okay, I, I will admit, maybe <laughs> this where it's it's okay. Maybe, maybe it's okay. Okay, so it's complaining. Oh, it's not arrow. Arrow? Oh, okay. 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 Okay, so there's a function here. But what oh, the fuck? Is Wait, why are you using dead or alive? <laughs> From uh, where are you getting these names? You are not a sign. Uh, types. Types? Yeah, types are types dot uh, dot dot hs. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay, so something is not matching anymore. Because if you go to my terminal, you're gonna okay. see that it's complaining that line fifty six. So that would be this uh, guy. I'm. S I don't know the expect reason. Oh, we changed the order, right? Expected location oh. and was getting read. Okay, so this is current, and we can do now. It's compiled. Nice. And yeah, you see. Huh. Uh, advanced cell generation. So the only thing that I don't know how we're gonna do is how we're gonna map, like create the the whole simultaneous whatever. No, no, that's what I already told you. Like it's here. Can you see where I'm selecting? Yeah. We can do that like in a minute, man. Okay, so let's do that. We have a grid, old grid, uh, and then you're suggesting to do a map on it. So yeah. I I need to do f map because this is a matrix. So we're going to have a funk 
and we are gonna pass the old grid. Uh, what is funk? Funk is a thing that picks two things, picks a location, and, p in, and picks, uh, I would call it status. And what it does is... A funk, funk, old grid, where funk, location, status? What is this, funk, location, status? I'm defining a function. Oh, a function okay, with... and location status would be the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what this function should be doing? Uh, okay. What this function should be doing? Let me see. We are mapping the old grid and we are receiving the location and the status. Yeah, that's 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 a problem, right? Because we don't we don't have these two things. We only have location. We should do f map on the grid. Uh, wait, what do you mean? Why we what we don't have it? Status? Yeah. Status is the cell on the grid. So we are getting this when mapping. Like um, we will. Oh, we are not. Oh, we are not mapping this way. We are using the map from the matrix that has the. Yeah. Location. Yeah, but there's a way to. Well, the there's indexes, a way. right? And no, not only the indexes. Why don't we do no, no, something the like map grid? The index. Map grid to like pass the location instead of the indexes, like to abstract that away. Oh wait, can you repeat that? Uh, we do a map map grid so we can pass like the location on each iteration no you want oh I, I see what you want you want something called map pos or if you go to if you go to no 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 but that will give you like a well, is that already like a tuple of two integers yeah oh and could we like say that is the location and yeah, we could. This, but, okay, nice. Yeah, then you're happy. But there, there's a problem. We need to get. We need to do use a get at some point because we need to read the the location. Uh, wait. Let yeah, me... we need to do the following. So you pick. You have a location. The first thing that you have to do is do a get location, which is a function that picks a location, and picks uh do a get alum function. If you go to data.matrix, you're going to find this function there. Uh, the get alum picks two integers. Right? So you need to this better match this guy with like row and column. And then you pass the row, you pass the column, and you pass the old grid. Then we are reading the, the value of the, uh, of the old grid, meaning that we're going to maintain this simultaneously, right? And um, not sure if I'm following, but keep going. Okay, so this function get location actually is wrong. It's get cell. Wait, don't we have a get cell whatever on on here? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Uh, yeah, okay. get cell <laughs> up here. You okay. pass a grid, a location, get a map cell. Like, okay, what so... about what about writing the steps here? Like, right? Okay, okay. So the steps are the following. The steps are the following. Okay. You pick a location. Uh... Pick a location. And then you pick the cell status wait, on wait, that location. That doesn't. Could we describe like okay, we are mapping the matrix, and on each map we get these arguments. Just pick a location. What do you mean by pick a location? Uh, because the that's any the sort of map, for you? yeah. Okay. Any sort of map is picking a location, giving us because a grid is basically a matrix of locations. If I understand, no, it's a matrix of cells. Oh no 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 no! The map will give us the location of the cell. Okay, so and this the is cell. the mess. Okay, so this is the map. Pause. Uh, it will not get no. The we we have to choose. Or we use a map that will give us the, the indexes, or we use a map that will give us the value of the cell. We well, don't have both. Well, no, we have both because if we have the index, we have the value. Because yeah, but we we, we, we kind of have to use an auxiliary function uh, like yeah, this one. Yeah, but no, 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 no. We will just use the unsafe to get the value from the index because we know it's a valid one. Yeah, no, this is what the status function is doing. It's unsafe. This get element is unsafe. Anyway, you pick a location, then you pick the cell status on that location, and that is the function 
um, function status. Okay. The pix that you are using is the argument that we are receiving yeah. on the mapping yeah. function. Okay. Yeah. And then um, you now that you have the status and the in the location, uh, by the you way, can advance uh, generation. Return status. That's the bottom line. Um, so what? Oh man, we could go like from the bottom up because what what is the one that is rotating the status? It's the advanced cell, right? No, but I don't want to return the status. Our final goal is to return a grid. No, 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 no. Wait. I mean, inside. No, no, no. Uh, Lemos, these things that we are writing here, it's the mapping fun, the mapping function. Like, what I mean by mapping function is the anomaly oh, functions see. that we are passing. Oh, I okay, I see. So what we get it's advanced cell generation right so yeah. this this give us the status but he wants two things cell and name wait oh cell like in current status yeah uh, can you transform this in order for me to understand that this we are getting the current status uh, uh yeah so current so status, current status. And here we have neighbors Okay, how do we get neighbors? So get neighbors, it's grid and location. Oh man, that's so nice. <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> But it is, man. Ooh, man. The way that you said that, that was so... Uh, I don't know how to say. Man, I'm just touched, like, on the heart. I was not <laughs> expecting it to be such a, location. a nice thing. Okay, now we get the neighbors. Uh, now that you have the neighbors and we have the cell, we can advance and then we are done. Uh, wait, wait, what is that neighbors? It's this one, line 75. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if you are thinking about the same. Uh, follow wait. me, is this already is still the thing that I'm thinking of? Like... The anonymous function that we are passing to map the matrix. Wait. If it is, then we need to see that the neighbors is equal is equal to get neighbors, and then we as the grid we pass like the old grid, and that. Yeah, look at this man. Look oh. at this thing here. No man, I don't think we are. No, oh, it's because okay, it... because this is the anonymous functions, right? Yeah. Fun... Oh, okay, okay, yeah. We are That's just cool. uh, creating auxiliary things. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so the the first thing is to get a location. To do that, right? Uh, we already have the location here. This is the current location. Okay. So we we check on that. Check. Now we have to get the current status. To get that, we do status location. Right. What the? We're gonna. Fuck? Yeah, just just follow. Just follow, you're going to understand pretty quickly. And then, after getting the current status, we need to have another guy that picks the neighbors uh, and the old grid and calculate for us the neighbors. We have a function that does this, called get neighbors. But I, but I renamed to this line here. So I'm going to put this also here, just for now. Man, just for now. so confusing. I, I, wait, I wait. hope it's Haskell syntax that I'm not used to. No, it's not. This does not type check. I'm I'm making things up just to put things on the table. I'm okay. translating English to the to the functions. Okay, now we 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 need to pass advanced center generation. We have the current status. Yeah, that's the we last have call. the neighbors. Then advanced, advanced cell generation. And uh, this will return. Yeah, it's done. It's done. This this is the, the, the solution. Uh, oh, Let yeah. me try to go one by one. So our anonymous function that I, we should have a name no, for no, this. No, go line by line. Like okay, line by line. Here. Okay, so the, we're gonna have the result of this advanced grid generation is map pause of a function in no, the old grid. Uh, wait. Uh, let me read and then like you explain when I read something that I'm not following. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so basically we have the old grid. <laughs> We name it old grid, but let's go with that. <laughs> like we have the old, yeah, that way we don't confuse ourselves. So we have the old grid. We are mapping that with a function. That's the only thing we need. Then we are constructing this function. 
And yeah. by the way, this function we have on the context, like not receiving as an argument, but on the context, it will have the old read. That way, we don't fall in any trap of not doing simultan simultan simultaneous at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So we have a fun that receives a location because that's what map pos gives us, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Uh, okay, so what that should do is to call the advanced cell generation because that's the last call we need to do. Yes. And then the things that we need to pass is the cell. Ah, uh, status location. But the cell is just the status, right? Oh, that's true. No, no, we need a name. function here that gets the thing, cell right? Cell and cell. Okay. Wait, the cell is it get cell? Yeah, it's this get element, whatever, whatever. No, so let's just. No, you should put get cell. You're gonna have problems because you have another function called get cell up there. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, so the cell, uh, you are defining here. Yeah. And basically, it gets a location, and it gets an element on a grid. From yeah. No, this and this. And, yeah. and this is safe because the location we are getting from the mapping. So there is no way yeah. about that. Yeah. So advancing the generation of a cell that we already have it here. Yeah. Nice. That's really nice. And <laughs> we need neighbors. Look at the type. We need neighbors. And okay. And neighbors it's a function that is getting the location. And what it's doing? It's get neighbors that receive the old grid and they look <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. But uh, man, this where it's quite a thing when you are defining multiple things. Like oh I, yeah, it's you can even define recursive things inside where man. Uh, like I'm seeing you are first using the things and then declaring, but only those two that are like parallel, right? Okay, so we have a type problem. I tried to I tried to compile oh. and my, my, my terminal is there. So it's saying it's probably, something it's probably regarding the position that the map pods are sending. Okay, so the let's try to understand um, data dot matrix. So what's the type of map pods? Man, man, wait, wait, actually let's take a look on this error message. Like expected position to sell to sell. And actual was position to sell. And where are we using this? Like seven. We are using, yeah, here. So fun. I think I'm do we are doing something wrong. One, sec. One sec. Oh, it's the cell. It's wait. <gasps> we do no wait. We do have. Oh man, that's. Awesome! Oh, he's already passing the cell, right? Yeah! It's not only... Oh, okay. Okay, I see, I see. We can just get rid of all of this. So nice. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> it, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. <laughs> we need to change the name of this function, though. Which one? Uh, punk. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This thing here. Yeah. Uh, neighbors. Could we? No, I don't know. Let's call something else. Um, we are getting the location and the cell. Okay, and I will call it for now just advance. At neighbors. Okay, okay. Advanced is pretty good, actually. Um, Man, that's so... <laughs> so... How can, what's the opposite of so much? So, so little. little. Okay. <laughs> that's so little code. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> of course. Like, we're, we're not doing anything, basically. <laughs> we're not we, doing anything. Yeah, we are just arranging some types and some standard <laughs> functions, like putting some ifs Man, here but and there. Can we? No, no. I'm now. I'm curious. Can we already test this? Like, because the we matrix. We can. We have a grid and we advance it. <laughs> That's 
that's the whole game, like basically. <laughs> now we can only like do manually the number of steps that we want, but that's basically it. We are uh... the only thing that we are not doing is like managing the ticks in the interval and oh, handling yeah, that. That's yeah, the yeah. only thing. But yeah. you already have the whole game. Yeah, but how can we uh, test this? You create thing? a grid and then you do like a step and print, a step and print. Oh, there's a, there are some examples in... Uh, in uh... We could make a function to map the grid into the terminal, like printing, I mean. We well, could, no, we totally could. Yeah, I don't know about how the I.O. would work, but... Okay. Yeah, no, the I.O. is the part that I need to do a little bit of research. But uh, this one, the, 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 go to the Wikipedia page and go to the, to the, to the examples, examples of patterns, right? Oh. So I kind of went to do the beacon. The beacon seems okay. Okay, what? Oh, okay, that's a good example <laughs> test. Oh, Blink is also nice. <laughs> Oh, but that would be sure more interesting. Okay, uh, if I put on the screen, you would write like on your terminal with access, and then we go to. I don't know. Um, uh, no. Let's go to data dot matrix. Uh, wait, wait. But now. what is the initial here? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They oh. are oscillators. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so there's a way that you can make a matrix from a list of lists. And I think that's the approach we're gonna do. Oh, it's easier to write because we have liters, right? Yeah. So where is where the heck is the thing here? That's so list li list conversions, okay? List conversions uh, from lists. Yeah, this is the one from lists. Okay. So let's go to our uh, oscillator. Let's create a, a an oscillator grid. Actually, I want to use the proper name of this thing. So, what's the name of the one that I want to we want to do? Todd or Beacon? What do you, what do you prefer? Uh, what do you mean, Beacon or Todd? Toad. Uh, let's let's do the Beacon first. Okay, so um, Beacon Oscillator Grid. Oops. Let me just send a message. Okay, so message. this is going to be a grid, and now from lists. And now we're going to have a list of lists. So let's go and copy paste this real. Actually, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Let, let me put um, on the Wikipedia page for me here real quick. And so then it's going to be easier. OK, so here, where is my beacon? OK, it's here. So how many pixels does this thing has? Six. So it's going to be zero, not zero. False. Hmm. Uh, wait, 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 Lemus, that, Lemus. Isn't, that, better, yeah. Lemus, isn't better for you to write the literal here and then writing the transforming function? Then the initial grid would already be a grid and being only here. I don't see what you mean. Like, you have from lists here. Yeah. Like, isn't better... Wait. Oh, okay. You are doing a... Sp Specific initial grid, okay, I saw. Yeah, I'm doing a specific one. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, so the oscillator, now it has dead. Oh, I messed things up. There's a sixth. Oh, that's here. formatting. <laughs> No, this is just because I'm copy pasting the library, and I think it's easier to see the matrix in this. No, no, I mean like the this. formatting of Haskell. For... Okay, uh, alive, and then we, this is also alive, and the every the other three are dead. Okay, nice, and then we can. How many things this thing has? A three, uh... six, so four, five, six. Okay. Nice. So the third line. The third line will be dead, alive. Let's start with dead here. And then dead, dead, dead. Okay. Nice. Then the f this is the fourth line. So we're going to have uh, dead, dead, dead. Okay, so dead. Wait, why? Wait, that is something weird. You have more alive than you need, man. 
I already put their lives in place. So why do we have those? Oh, okay, because you copied and pasted. Okay, I see. Yeah, I copied and pasted. Okay, so the fourth line is gonna be dead, and dead. This is also dead, and, and then that's alive. It. That's it. And then the other ones are alive, alive. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, okay, save this. Let me reload. We can like print initial. Well, we can like, oh, we can do Beacon. a loop on a number. This is what we have. Like gener what? Wait, let me see the terminal. Okay. And now I'm going to do advanced grid generation. Whew. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Your rules, your rules on the game of life, they are not exhausted. Exhaustive. Uh, yeah, exhaustive. Oh, makes sense. Right? But I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Which which ones I'm missing? No, no, no. You are you are not missing any rule. They are missing... Like, oh, no, no. Wait. Here it's like... Oh, here it's mandatory to have a default case, right? Because which is... What's the conditions. default? The default would be covering all the... Uh... Uh, I think it's maintain your status. Let's do like that for now. Yeah, we probably need better rules. Oh, yeah, it worked. It, it, oh. Kind of? No, but this is no, definitely wrong. No, yeah, you have true on the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not right, right? Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have true... Oh, should we? No, no we, we shouldn't. We sh definitely shouldn't, man. Definitely. Let's let's let let's compare this to the Wikipedia first because I'm kind of doubting. Mm. Uh, so let me open here the beacon. It, it looks so right a... for me. Oh yeah, we have like, only we six have... throws. The way to see is we have like one padding, right? And then we have on the corners. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. Let me try something, Lemus. Like let me just like start in. The other variation. Like, can okay, you this let's now? try that. Yeah. This is the the one. Okay. Right. Now advance. Yeah, Same it's thing. still wrong. Yeah, so our rules for sure. <sighs> so, what about we resuming the rules? Like, to a complete one, right? And then we. Um, I kind of want to do a hmm. a simple matrix, man. Right? Because this is six per six by six. This is crazy. No, 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 but you saw that is the same as Wikipedia, right? No, it is the same as Wikipedia. But I want to do a test, like a, a smaller test sample. Okay. That's, so that's instead of good. doing what we are we are doing, we're gonna just delete this like guy. What about a two by two and? Yeah, two by two. I'm doing it three by three, just to be sure. Okay, so let's try to de de deduce uh, which should be the cases for this guy. We have dead, dead. We have dead, and I want this guy to also be dead. Okay, which 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 uh, uh, grid should be the future version of this? Uh all deads. Oh, that's... Let's see. But wait, man. Doesn't make sense to test this. We know that it's already wrong, like horror. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know, man. We... I don't know if you can say that. I, I'm pretty sure, like, if there's... Input, Oops! What the fuck? <laughs> How does that even work? Okay, so let's try to do, do the case. So this is this first guy, dead. Which case this guy will match? He, he needs to match a life because he changed it. So there's only two possibilities. Or this function is wrong, or this function is wrong. Man, this function is wrong. Wait, this yeah, this, fun this function is definitely wrong. I, well, I guess. And I guess it's because of the otherwise. No, but the otherwise is the same. It's just maintained. This should be, be dead still. Maybe the how many neighbors is wrong. That's a possibility, definitely. How many neighbors is wrong? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so no, no. wait, how wait. There's a, there's a, there's a. Yeah, no, not how many neighbors. How many neighbors in English? Not the function. Oh. Okay. 
let's do get neighbors. Let's pass our test grid. And let's do 1-1. One, one. Uh, okay, false, false, through. This is correct. This is correct. You do you agree? Uh, not really. Uh, this is... is the test grid. Okay, we only have the middle one. I so, yeah, and I'm testing this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, false, false, true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, um, the next one, get we do get neighbors, but we also okay, need to count. Okay, you use two, two. You should get like, oh, the Oh, man. The calculations no. of the positions are wrong? No, not the calculations oh, of the positions. Okay. This should not, this is wrong. Why? Because the, we should exclude the false. Remember? No. Oh, it's because you're not doing nothing. We are doing maybe false. You're doing just false. So the cat maybes. Wait. Oh, they are alive, neighbors. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Oh, man. Oh, that was tough to get limbs. Wait, wait, wait. But I kind of uh, want to. Not, not I kinda... high, but. No, 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 but uh, which function are we using that is... Oh, it's this one. Okay, get cell. I want to try something. So get cell. Yeah, we need to filter, man. We need to filter. This is not, wait, wait, wait. This is not only length. Uh, this is not only length. Wait. This is a filter and then a length. Okay, so let's do a um, filter. Uh, no, no, Lemus, Lemus, Lemus. No, no. Uh, wait, wait a bit. Yeah, then would be how many labors are alive. But isn't it better for us to do that filter uh, on where get cell is being used? Like in somewhere we are getting the neighbors and filtering the maybes. So we should filter the Here. false. Where? Here. Okay, Here. so isn't it better for us to do the filtering of the falses in the same place? Um. Oh no. Makes no. sense. Yeah, but Maybe. would yeah, but would not be get neighbors. I think we should maintain get neighbors maybe. Uh, because this way is more like generic. And then who is the one that uses the get neighbors? Uh this guy. Advanced uh, grid generation? No, no, yeah, advanced grid generation here. Oh, okay, yeah. So here after that we do the filters, right? On okay, get alive neighbors. Good, good name. Uh, is alive. Is neighbor alive? And then, um, oops. Uh, you're gonna have a neighbor, and you're gonna have. Uh, no, not uh, a neighbor. A cell, right? Okay, I was trying. I I would just create a new a new alias for a neighbor, but we can we go with a cell. Oh. Okay. And there's also. Um, no, we don't need this function. This function is kind of dumb. What yeah. we need no, is... No, no, uh, actually not. It's actually not, Lemus. Uh, filter by uh, alive. Lemus, 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 Lemus. Uh, it's actually not because a cell in the future could not be only a boolean. No, but that... that... Okay, you have a point. You have a point. Uh, is neighbor live so you're gonna have a cell and you're gonna i don't know boo um and in so... this case it's just returning right yeah <laughs> it's just an id what the fuck <laughs> it's the id function man <laughs> holy fuck uh, num. Num, num, num. okay so um we can remove this guy isn't Alive Henry neighbors, then, okay. Is neighbor alive and this? Okay. Uh, is this compiling? Yes. Let's try advanced now. Oh, everybody dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> everybody dead. This is exactly what we want. What about... It's kind of, Lemus, I, I have to say, it's kind of messed up that you are happy that everyone is dead. Dead, man. 
Uh, everybody dead is everybody. Yeah, everybody should continue being dead. Okay, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Let's trade our like a uh, beacon oscillation, oscillator. Yeah. Oscillator. So let's um, beacon. Uh, Lemo, this, this is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, this is really wrong. <laughs> this oh, is wait, definitely yeah, wrong. Wait, can you test the the test one, the test grid? No, I already tested. It's here. No, no, not what I mean is uh, beacon. Os oh, okay. We need to see this, right? And yeah, it's already correct. Okay. Yeah, but this is wrong and Lemos, it's by really the way, wrong. it's really easy to test this thing, right? If the big, <laughs> yeah, because we have like state A and B, and then we just have to see like if it's an odd number of the call, should be A. If it's a uh, even, then it's B. It's really easy to test. Oh, yeah, uh, I kind of want to make the blinker because I think we're gonna it's gonna be easy to debug. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, so this is five by five, which means that I need to kill. Okay, five by five. Uh, and we need to have a straight line in the middle, basically. So dead, dead. Oh yeah, that's easier to see. Alive. How many in the middle? Three. Uh, dead. Oh. The and dead. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh my god. I just did the Emacs shortcut by accident. Ah. Oh wait, uh, you, we need one here. Live. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let yeah. me save this again and then mm. let's do blinker. Uh okay, so this is really wrong. Ah. <laughs> This is phenomenally wrong <laughs> because the middle disappeared, even the middle in the middle, like the, the, the center. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't think we are doing things simultaneously, man. I don't think, I think we are, man. Uh, but let's, I don't think we that, are. let's review this. Uh, that should be on advanced regeneration, right? Uh, um, so let's go again. We are mapping with the position, the old risk with the advanced function. That's okay. Let's see what is advanced. It's receiving the location and the cell. And we are advancing the cell generation of Oh no wait. Wait, 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 this cell. is wrong. No wait. What is wrong? Oh I was I was missing one through one through. I didn't reload the, the thing. Is it still wrong? This is actually worse. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but oh. now it's at least the initial state is correct. Oh my. Okay, let's go, let's go, continue, continue. Okay, so <laughs> on the mapping of the map post, we are receiving the location and the cell. So we advance the generation of the cell, and the thing that we need for that is only the cell itself and the neighbors. Uh, let's assume the neighbors is right right now, right? <laughs> let's assume. Uh, wait, what is neighbors here? Neighbors is this oh, okay. Yeah, right it's here. it's really the neighbors, right? Yeah. yeah, really the neighbors. Then we got the how many neighbors inside here. Okay, so okay, we advance and we advance with those rules that take into consideration if the cell itself it's alive and the neighbors. So it's just like right until here. Now the neighbors. How do we get the neighbors? We pass the location. Okay, and the way we do it. It's by getting the neighbors. How do we do that? With a grid. And that's the important part, Lemos. Here, you see, we are getting mm -hmm. the old things. Yeah, man, like any mapping that we do and we are like in the current cell, we are getting the neighbors like from the previous grid, not the current one that we are mutating. Yeah, but I kind of want to test this this logic that we're doing. So filter is neighbors alive. Mm -hmm. Is uh, a oh, really? neighbor alive? And, and then we do get neighbors. Get neighbors. Oh. We need a grid. I'm going to use the test grid. And the location, 
I don't know. One one. One one. No no choo choo. No no. One one. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one one. Oh. Okay, so variable not in scope. What exactly is not in scope, partner? Is neighbor alive? No. Test grid, I guess. So do we have test grid? Yes. Do we have get neighbors? Do we have get neighbors? Yeah. Do we have filter? Yeah. What the? And is do we have alive? is neighbor alive? Yeah. We so do. is it the symbol, man? That you are using this e? Oh, oh! It's because uh, I'm uh, I'm dumb. This is not a correct symbol. Oh. It's this one. Ask for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Oh, okay. So this is a function, apparently. Okay. Uh, okay, but this is correct. What about the choo choo? So this is the middle guy. Yeah, none. You all have. You do only have dead people around you. That's it. <laughs> um okay um something needs to be wrong okay let's man, man we are oh, we should oh we... let's do the same let's do the same with the beacon wait wait man i think we should be testing the advanced cell but we don't have any good way to to, to test that man sure we do man like uh, wait just a bit wait okay. just a bit um what is the position in the blinker? What is the how many neighbors this guy should have? Uh, one one in the well, we would have to print the beacon for me to see on your camera. No, no, look at the code. Okay, one one, right? Yeah, the no, uh, yeah, one one. No, no, not one one. This guy. <coughs> Wait, you are using you are using one one, man. No, this is not one one. No, no, this one, this one right? Yeah, but I'm talking about this guy. No, wait. Here, but, I'm talking but, about this guy. Man, this is like uh, two, three, 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 right? No, two, two three. three. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see if our function works. Two, for three, two three should have one. Okay, that's fine. What about the the guy below that? Okay, that two, would be right? Three, three, and it should be should have two, yeah. Okay, nice. And finally, we have four, three. And that's just one, which make which makes sense. Four, three, okay. Three. What about this one? Three, four. Should okay. Have, should have the three. Three. Okay, and now test this one. It's like five, three. No, I think this is a five, three. Yes, you're correct. Five, three should be two also. No, one. It's yeah. one. One. It's yes. one. It's just one. Yeah, I think this is just right, man. They get okay, this. so this means that something in advanced grid generation is wrong. It needs to be wrong. Are those rules, man? I'm pretty sure the other wise here are it's fucking us. Uh, you think that there is the word wise? Interesting. Yeah, because like I'm not checking for this. Like I ha I haven't read. This could be wrong, but I'm assuming that you did like one by one the rules, right? So. Okay, so let's try to. What about to do a... you reading the rules and me checking the code? Okay, I would. Let's do that. Oh wait, wait. What is? Oh okay, okay. Go on. Okay, so the follow the rules are the following. F rule number one: any live cell, any live live cell. I think it's live. Any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors. Uh huh. Uh. uh dies. Yeah. Okay. Dies. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors. Wait, wait, wait. Any alive cell? Any live cell uh, with two or three neighbors. Okay. Uh, go on to oh! the next generation. What? I think we need parentheses here. You think that... Uh, I, I doubt a little bit, but let's try. Lemos, lemos, lemos. Uh, e has more priority than this. You think so? I, I'm pretty sure. Not sure if that was the problem. Oh, you're correct. <laughs> you are correct. Oh my, my fucking friend. god! <laughs> the parentheses is saving the day. Uh, hey, but I, I nice. but I'm still like looking weird for this otherwise. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, okay. So the oscillator is working. The beacon. Nice. You see? Uh, yeah, because but, the but now like the beacon itself pipe. is like this. But loud pipe again. Okay. Loud and then uh. This is the uh, after you advance, you go to this. Yeah, but don't like advance two times. 
because we don't have a function to do that, I need to do that, that manually. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Holy! Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I, I, like, I, sh I think we should like uh, end here. Yeah, totally. Right? Because it was already a bunch of Oh, man, this was awesome. But Lemus, <laughs> yeah, you just like uh, got the, the words out of my mouth. This was awesome, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> like, we did some nice modeling, right? Yeah, no, I, I consider this to be pretty cool. Like, uh, pretty By awesome. the way, uh, Matrix, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Matrix. It make it made our life easier for sure. Oh, a lot easier, man. But just talking about this, otherwise that you are feeling uncomfortable, because you need to imagine. Let's suppose that you have exact. Um, wait. Mm. Lemus, Is it what about possible? this, Lemus? Lemus, what about this? Uh, uh you are. S oh wait. yeah, imagine that you have this scenario. N is less than two, and the cell is dead. Uh, Lemus, Lemus, wait, uh, just a minute, because I think maybe I will talk about the same thing that we are talking about. Uh, okay. First of all, let's see about the numbers, like only the number comparison, if you are uh, like getting all the cases, like less than two, two or three, and more than three. That's already all the cases, right? In terms of integers, yes. Yes, okay. So the only thing that like... Uh, it's left. Oh, wait. Yeah, the only thing that's left is regarding the other boolean, right? Yeah. So the other boolean is only like true or false. So Yeah, but you need to multiply, three... right? It's, you, yeah, we should have six two. cases. Yes, yes. But that's the thing that I'm, that I'm talking about. So if I ask you this condition, but this being dead instead, what is the result? And then we do that with the other two, and we get the complete answer, like for everything. And then we can okay, like. Okay, that makes sense. That right. makes sense. A lot of sense. Okay, so if you have less than two neighbors and you are already dead, you're not gonna grow up. So you still that you you are still dead. Okay. If you have two or three neighbors and you are dead, you're not gonna be alive. So dead. Actually, that's a lie. That's a lie, because if you are dead and the number is three, you you go go to like you're gonna be born, let's say. Yeah. But in this particular case, using the or, I think this is actually dead. Oh. I think this is dead. Okay. Okay. Because of the or. Uh, right. Wait, but I deleted the other one and. Ooh no. Wait. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Let's change this back. Um. Next one. If you have more than three. And you are already dead. You're not gonna be born because it's overpopulation, right? Uh, that's kind of strange, right? But but yeah. No, it, you need to in the, you need to do the opposite. Rem if you are, if you have more than three neighbors and you're already alive, you're gonna die. It makes sense that if you have more than three neighbors and you are already dead, you mean you are still dead. I'm not sure because that's that the people who, who are the, oh okay okay superpopulation we would okay. yeah yeah. And the final case, if you have n equals to three, but you are alive, you're gonna go to this case. Yeah, I think we can delete this. Let, let's comment those two. And no, no, you can. No, no, but you want to have the repetition. What? No, no. no the it... compiler would complain about impossible cases. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I no, think no, no, it but is working. When you recompile, does it complain about something? No, no, it does not complain. Uh, yeah, the only the only adjust that I would make is to change the order here, Lemos. I think we should first check if it's alive or not. For some reason, <laughs> in my head... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's easier. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was totally like... Oh, man. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, like I think it's easy to read. I would explain that way. <laughs> but you also could say voices from my head, yes. Um, yeah. Oh, no, wait, this is wrong. Uh, what is wrong? We need this case. Uh, no, no, the compiler is not really saying that. 
No, but we need this case. This change, this, this, the, our, the compiler is not is not saying anything because we are we have this, but this is wrong. Uh, this wait, is wait, wait, wrong. wait, 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 Lemos. Uh, you we you saw that this is if it's tree, and is dead, then it's alive. But it's not saying if and only. If. No, no, I Lemos. I think this is right, man. No, man. We, 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 if you are dead and you have two neighbors, you should not go to life. If you are dead? If you are dead, right. If you are dead, no, let, let me do control Z to explain it better to you. Okay. Okay, so look at this. If you are dead, which scenarios should be the ones that you go, you, you go alive? Oh, only, only the three, right? Only the three. And oh. but if you get the scenario that, that you are dead and you have the two neighbors, you this will also be actually this is wrong in inverse because if you are dead and you have only two, you you shouldn't be dead. Oh, okay. You should be dead. So we can like multiply this again, right? And then do this case, right? Ah, alive. Like it's not elegant, but we are already doing like all these hit randomness, right? Yeah, it's already kind of redundant by itself, so. So shoot that, okay? Yeah, let me just change the order of this just to finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that project is, shit, is such a nice ad for our Nakama <laughs> group, man. <laughs> Holy fuck! Ah, yeah, nice, 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 nice. I'm I'm surprised that this went as as it as it did. This well, right? <laughs> uh, okay, now we can we could start to like make the redundance, right? Because for instance, here, look on those last two. We don't care if it the cell it's alive or dead. Wait, 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 wait. In order to maintain the same pattern, we should do. Oh, um, okay. I see. Ready. I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So let's see what the compiler says. Like, if it's not more. Oh, oh um, uh, put the otherwise just to see if it complains about. I, I will first do case. with sound the otherwise. Okay. And it's not complaining. Now add the otherwise to see if it complains of impossible otherwise. case. Otherwise. So. By the way, kind doesn't complain even if you have like. Are matching a pattern. He's not complaining. He's not complaining. Oh fuck! I hate Haskell. <laughs> oh man. In my defense, oh, I am no, not. Oh no 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 no! Makes sense. Makes sense because you are not <laughs> ma Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because see, the only thing that Haskell is receiving is the boolean. No, but and something in there's another thing. I'm not uh, uh, up like uh, uh, um, putting flags for it to be pedantic. Right, there's flags for that. Um, oh, that's a nice one. Okay. So, uh, okay, now we can do the simplifications. I don't know if I would recommend doing the simplifications because it makes the code less readable mm -hmm. in the future. Because we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna remember this. I can pretty much assure you. Yes. Uh, we're not gonna remember when we read this again. Um, so I already feel that this is kind of confusing the way that it is, but I see your point. I agree that we, this is the, uh, makes it more explicit to say the least. And alive that, alive that. Oh man. I think that's quite nice to read. Like, uh, man, just, just look at that. Alive less than two, dead less than two, alive two, dead two. Alive three, dead three, alive more than three, dead more than three. <laughs> like, okay, one could say that this is pretty dumb. Like, <laughs> re redu redundant -wi wise. But it's like really easy to read and understand, right? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with that. Um, I think we should maintain this way, like for the sake. Okay, let's just uh, try to do a new, a new test here just to see. Hey, things are broken. Ooh, how? <laughs> Wait, how? Things are totally broken. Man. No way, how? <laughs> oh, it got a wrong. Yeah, so some of our judgments here are wrong. Okay, we need one person to check a rule here, 
and see okay, so the let's do the is. following. Let's uh, undo everything that we just did. Wait, do we? No, no, I don't think we need that, Lemus. Isn't no, it better no. for us to like uh, read the rule and see if the text is okay? That's with exact. It? That's exactly what we're gonna be doing, man. But why in the previous version? Because I want to see. Because something is different, right? Something no, no, between no, 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 them. No. But why seeing the previous version? That is, uh, it's harder to affirm. No, it's the harder, text is but agreeing. it's working. Uh, it's harder, but it is working. I, I'm not sure, man. That's we are not even. This is right. This, this is right. Okay. Well, in theory, you... right? We cannot. No, not yet. In theory, we are using examples, right? We need to do some further exploration. But this is that. Yeah, this is definitely working. This is definitely working. Okay, so mm -hmm. there's a difference between this code and the code below. We need to discover which one it is. Uh, no, no, I think that's the hardest way to go, Lemos. Like you you're are... doing a comparison side by side. How this can be any easier? No, no, no. Uh, man, you are getting a code and the other code and asking if the two are equivalents. I think that's much harder than check the rules again the, against the text. Okay, let's do the your way then. Um, I will. I will say the rules again. And then you can compare to the one below here that is commented out. Uh, no, no, wait. I, I, I will read the rules and you say if the text is okay. I think, yeah, I think it makes more sense. So Okay, which, who will be reading the code? Uh, I can read the code. Okay, so I will, I will say. Okay. Any live cell no, no, with no, no, few... No, 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 it's the opposite. Uh, I will do, I will say what the code is doing. And you see if the, it's matching. Oh, the okay, text. okay, okay. So the cell is alive and okay. has less than two neighbors. What okay. should happen? They die. Okay. The cell is dead and has less than two neighbors. Um, it's not saying anything here. Mm, so oh. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's... it's not saying anything here, right? You say you see that's interesting, right? Oh my god, that I hate <laughs> that. Ugh. No, but let's assume something else. Every case that we don't have in our the Wikipedia step is in the order wise here. No, 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 that's a fucking bold assumption. I will, I will fill that with question marks and let's go to the next one. Okay, go go to the next one. Uh, alive and equals two. Uh, alive and equals two uh, should live. Okay, dead and equals true. Oh, that uh, should be dead, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. alive and equals three. Um, should live. Oh, dead and equals three should be alive. Oh, we inverted some. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I forgot. We are dumb, man. <laughs> Okay, so that equals three is alive, right? Okay, that equals three equals alive, yes. Alive and more than three. Alive and more than three die. Uh, dead and more than three. Nothing is written in here about that. But I guess, I might guess that this should die. It should maintain that. Uh, yeah, I also would, would bet this. Okay, now we're going to do the following. We're going to comment this one out. Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oops oops okay so i think that this is broken no this is not in max oh the comments uh, right yeah okay so let's suppose that this is working fine okay it compiles first seems right right this seems really right uh oh okay that's the Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's not. And if I advance the advance, I should, should go initial, back to. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, now we got the thing working now. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, not to change the code, but just observing what would be the things that are redundant right now. So, for Obs instance. Observing what, sir? What is redundant? 
Uh, no, I, I would not recommend doing that. No, no, just looking at, not modifying the Oh, code. okay, 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 sorry. Like, basically, if you see, like, uh, how can you, like, se separate that on a couple of lines? You see, like, two and two and two. Wait, repeat that, that again, sir? Uh, you can separate all the lines in pairs of two. Well, in pairs. Yeah, you, you can. You see? So... The ones, the pairs that has the same result, you could just eliminate the code that is checking the cell. Yeah, so in this particular case, we could eliminate the cell equals alive, cell equals dead if n is less than 2, because the answer is always dead. Yes. In the case of en equals 2, we should just return cell. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you are, oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see what you are doing. You are doing some <laughs> heavy stuff. Okay, I see. Uh, if n equals 2, you just return the cell state. If n equals 3, it doesn't matter if the cell is alive or dead because the answer is always alive. And if n is greater than 3, it doesn't matter the, st the status because the answer is always being dead. Yeah, that's a really nice observation, right? <laughs> <laughs> because of the way we wrote that, we can see that clearly, like visually. It's oh, just, yeah. it's just see like the only pair that have like mismatching results are those ones. The yeah, other ones are ones. like dead, dead, alive, alive, dead, dead. Yeah. So we could simplify this to three, three lines, right? Instead of uh, nine. No, yeah. No, four lines. Four lines, sorry, yeah. Less than two equals two equals three and more than three. No, no, actually we could simplify further by doing the R with the two and three. Uh, that would be even more convoluted to understand. Yeah, but I mean three lines, <laughs> right? If you really want, we can do it three lines. Oh! Yeah, three lines, I guess. It's the limit. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, man. Wow. That's a, <laughs> that was quite a thing. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> that reminded me of the, the meme again. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Paz <laughs> for me. Trabalhando relaxando. Por lá. Oh, man. Ai, que delícia, cara. I added a file called games.hs and I removed the games from this file. Games.hs? What do you mean? I, oh. made a, I made a file, a new file. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Initial states. Yeah. So now we have our logic in game of life. And this is done. Like, I think this is pretty much done. And then we only in the next session, we need just to make the display.hs and then we are like pretty much. Yeah, and like uh, two main functions basically. Like one is printing. What I mean by printing is display on the screen the current status. And the other one is to manage the tick to like call the render. Man, we basically need to do like two functions on the next round. That's awesome. Yeah, two functions and oh but I want to add the color, the color do hickey that you said. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> we will we will do a more complex cell, right? Yeah, no. The the I want to do something like as you old, I want you to be like uh, you start with a really really bright orange or red, and then you start getting older, and the color starts to go pastel. You know. Pastel. No, pa no. pastel. Pastel oh, color. Okay, okay, I see. And then it's gonna basically demonstrate the cells <laughs> aging, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 but what it happens when it gets like too old? We need a limit, right? Uh, we can do in terms of iterations, right? So we can do, I don't know, 100 iterations just to see the movement of the cells. Um, actually, it's kind of cheating to imagine that the cells are getting older because they're actually dying and older cells are like being born. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, for instance, look at my screen. You see the beacon? Wait. They are yeah, getting really... older. Oh, the ones that I fixed it. Yeah. I don't I think those ones are kind of boring. I, I, I really like the spaceships because they are moving. 
Yeah, okay, those ones, yes. Those ones, they don't really get a, right? Yeah, so I want to make the ones that move, and if they are moving, peop, uh, cells are dying, and... Uh, because you can clearly see they are moving to the right, right? Yeah, that is a possibility that one, like, be able to be alive on two iterations, but they will not last much, right? Yeah. But I also want to do some sort of representation because having a matrix of booleans is pretty boring. What do you I want mean? to do a grid, you know? Uh, uh, no, I don't know. What do you mean by that? Because it's like, we're not going to see this, these cool patterns because you have booleans. You have a bunch of trues and falses. But right? that's the blank or, well, or black square, man. Yeah, but we need to map these somehow, right? We need to display this in a way that I never did it before. Wait, I'm not sure what you are talking. I never printed in Haskell terminal like a grid, like exactly like this. Oh, 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 that's not on the terminal, my friend. No, oh, you're going to do something like an interface or something, user interface? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was thinking about. Oh, uh, oh, that's why you said you talked about the JavaScript thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have UI libraries for Haskell, so let's just. Okay, so I will I will push this to the. I will push this. Uh, git add. Uh, git commit. Uh, added. Um, added game of life logic. Oh, lamb was. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you could go so further with that. Like, you could make the user choose the initial state and then iterate step by step, or go automatically and setting the speed of the tick. He could save the patterns. Holy fuck. You can go like infinite and beyond with that, man. Wait, wait, I got a problem, man. Which I one? got a problem. I don't know why. Oh, let me go on this card. Remove. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not showing to you. But it's saying I f it failed to do something. It failed to. You mean, dot... you mean the terminal or git? Yeah, I'm kind of getting worried that we're going to lose everything. <laughs> I'm going to copy paste this somewhere else. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose uh, this. Wait, this wait, is... wait, wait. What is happening and when? And uh, I'm trying to do a push right into the repo, right? Mm -hmm. um, you can push force, right? Oh, I I will I will do that. Okay, so let do let me I I will I will show it to you now. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is what I'm doing. Okay, so git status. Uh, use git push to publish your thing. So git push uh, origin uh, main, right? I will also force. I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Why not? Okay, it's taking Wait, a while. Did this you is the set, first. Did you set the origin? Like, right. Did you set the origin? Sorry. Okay, so this is a rename from. Uh, origin main lock to gehefs remote hey. origin main failed. Should I try again? What the heck is this? I have no way. I yeah. never seen this before. <laughs> Me neither. Man, what we can do is to maybe delete the repo, or you just trying to set the origin again and create a. I don't know. Okay, so you could, um, okay, uh, queue your dot git, set the origin and push. Okay, so remove. Uh, I already back backed it up. This. Okay. I actually, I I will actually make sure that the files are they are here. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> like get a zip and upload that to Google. <laughs> Oh yeah, everything is here. Everything is here. So, but it's just a, a few lines, man. Like this is not crazy. We're not talking about like it's Haskell code. It's like not a, a bunch of code. No. But I don't want to lose anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, let me delete the the thing. So 
hvita delete dot dot git. Okay, so it's saying that I can delete this. I can delete this folder for some reason. Yeah, so I think I need to delete this terminal. Try again. Okay, so something is using this. Something is using dot git. Yeah. You require you you need permission to perform this action. Yeah, so for some random reason in Windows it's not allowing me to to do the thing. But we can finish here. I can push this later. Because I think you're still streaming, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you uh, can okay, stop so that. I will win the stream right now. Okay. So bye bye.